right we are live good evening everybody it's the mic on the camera's on lozzy's on i am on i hope all you guys are having a fantastic day and have been as excited about world's strongest man starting tomorrow it's been a busy few weeks for auntie liz it's been a ridiculous couple of weeks but it's also been an interesting day too how are we all this evening how are you guys doing don't know if the comments are just lagging. Yeah, hopefully you can all hear us. Second. Yeah. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello, Bron Chopped. All the usual faces, all the familiar suspects. Yes, we're all well, thank you. We are geared up and ready. I feel like we're competing. <laughs> it feels like we're competing. It's <laughs> been a stupidly busy couple of weeks. It, it has. I had this crazy idea that it would be a really good plan to do videos on every single athlete competing. Probably didn't think about the time frame that we had to do that in. Didn't you I? well, you came up with that idea two weeks ago on the Wednesday, I think it was, and we started recording literally the following day. So, and it's just been manic ever since. Bron chopped. Thanks for the super Thank chat. Thank you, Howdy. Bron Chop. Howdy, buddy. We know you'll be excited. <laughs> Who is excited for World's Strongest Man? I know it's it's ridiculous that we're in 2020 and we can't watch it live. 22. Yes. What is with you and Me Terry? Me and Terry getting it wrong. It's just it just rolls off the tongue a bit more naturally <laughs> 2022 it kind of like you know, ta -ta -ta -ta. the amount of times in the videos that we've been making this last week or so you've said 2020 haven't you i know i know <laughs> it's been we're, we're lacking sleep we are lacking sleep <laughs> and it's only going to get worse <laughs> from today on in so we thought the day before kickoff we would come and join you all yeah so thank yeah. you everyone that has watched the series it, liz has put a lot of work into it and i promise you after world's strongest man is done i am taking her away for a, a weekend to relax. I've got a lovely spa weekend to look forward to. So it's that's birthday exciting, coming isn't up. it? It is my birthday coming up. Uh, we got a super chat from How Kinsey. Oh, it didn't take long. Feel free to discuss the leaked audio from Luke. Is changing the group format the only way to eliminate cheating? Okay, so obviously we knew this was going to come up. I'll start, shall I, Lossie? Go for it. All right. <laughs> okay, so... Honestly, when we saw that, what was it, about an hour ago, you rang me on the way back from the gym, have you seen this? And I listened to it. And when I did, my heart sunk, like properly, properly sunk. And my first thoughts were with Luke, because Luke is a friend. And I know what sensitive man Luke is. And honestly, I felt absolutely awful for him. Where do you begin with this? I'm just pointing out Hixie saying you deserve a week away. She does. I do, Hixie. She does, do. but she only gets a week Don't away. interrupt, though, <laughs> because I'm struggling to gather all my thoughts and organise them best I can as it is. We have always been advocates of transparency. Anyone who's been on this channel for long enough knows that when World's Strongest Man rolls around, we do, you know, we talk about how we would do the groups. We've talked about different suggestions, like putting your seeds in, rid of the and then before. random selections, getting rid of the groups, random selections of events within certain categories. We know there are restrictions there because it depends on what equipment they have in any given country. But we've always been huge advocates for transparency. This leak <laughs> from Mark Boyd, it makes me sad because... I feel like the only person who really suffers in this instance is Luke Stoltman. Yeah. World's Strongest Man goes ahead. It's no it's water off their back. Giants Live will still go ahead. But Luke, now, the day before, like... The biggest competition of his life. I am getting tagged and getting tons of messages. Oh, my God. Imagine what's going on on Luke's phone right now. Yeah. I feel I think... so bad for Luke. And, you know, people might well, say... I, I, as an athlete this close to a big competition there's so much stress as it is yeah and, there is you know it's hard to be fair when i when we did the groups we we did our own seeding so we looked at it you got obvious four seeds yeah they're four champions then it gets a bit trickier you got guys like evan singleton maxine boudreau luke stoltman you know trey mitchell bobby thompson there's a whole host of incredible athletes that are all very very close yeah and it would depend on competition events who's in shape as to who you would seed out of that i think looking on paper group five probably does look a bit easier because it doesn't have one of the former champions in there yeah but you've got two of those big big names that you class as the next ones down 
maybe there should be a third. I think there should be a third. And to be honest, I mean, we talked about that on our, um, not the actual groups for real live, because obviously we were doing that for World's Strongest Fans. We can't say this group's a shit show, but we can say it on our own video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, we were honest about our thoughts there. I've never once looked at the groups at World's Strongest Man and thought this is perfectly balanced. But when you and I do it, we come up with completely different, don't we? And we yeah. argued, like we have massive arguments, <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> The point is, if there is corruption, I don't think that throwing an athlete under the bus is the right way to go about it. And I do feel that to an extent, that's what's happened here. I I, <laughs> I am an advocate for working with people and not against them. I think you catch more flies with honey and you get more done by trying to work with people. And that's what we've tried to do. I think out of all the athletes, I've been the most critical of World's Strongest you Man over the years. Definitely have. Maybe, maybe maybe Brian Shaw has been a bit more critical. Brian and myself both probably speak our mind. 2019, it was probably you, to be fair. I, I, you was, were... I was devastated. I was pissed off at the time. Yeah, but, but you were openly critical. But... And I, I go and have discussions behind yeah. the scenes with the people that matter. And I've done this. I've argued with every single promoter. Every single one of them, I've had an argument about yeah, something because I'm not a very good person at keeping things inside. It's awful. <laughs> I, I've had arguments with Colin. I've had arguments with Mark Boyd. I've had arguments with Glenn Ross. With me. With <laughs> Marcel, with yeah. you, you know, and I've, I've been angry at World's Strongest Man in the past. But that's because I like to sort things out. Mm. I don't like keeping things hidden back and then being sneaky and doing things behind the back. I don't agree with shitting on the sport, if, if you like. I think we need to try and build the sport and get it better because, unfortunately, World's Strongest Man started very much as a TV show. Yeah, like That's gladiators, it was, or just something. like gladiators. We will get to your super chats, by the and way. From, I them go. And from <laughs> from that TV show, a sport has kind of been created from it. We still have the TV show as the pinnacle, mm. and it is the poster. It's the poster. It's show. still the gateway. It's the show that every single athlete wants to win, mm. regardless of you know what other great shows that we have, and World regardless Sports. of what accusations are made as well. Yeah. So I just think timing-wise for this, it's really not great. I think the athletes, you know, if there was an issue, it should have been dealt with a long time ago behind the scenes and sorted. I totally agree we need transparency in terms of the way people qualify for World's Strongest Man. Yeah. I think we need transparency in groups. And this year we kind of had that a little bit where none of the athletes knew the groups right until Terry and us were announcing them. We only found them out five minutes before that yeah yeah and even then it was so quick there was no time to really absorb it was no there? It, it was, was in and it was out <laughs> so i think you know for me i just think it's it's really poorly timed and i think it's something that discussions need to be had to sort out going forward i think world strongest man and they do to be fair world strongest man are working with lots of different promoters now they are yeah. and other promoters need to start communicating better so that we don't have clashes of big events and yeah the athletes are still able to compete in every show you know, unless an athlete is going to be paid hundreds and thousands of dollars mm -hmm. by a, a, an organization to be exclusive to them, then they should be free to compete wherever they want, in Great. whatever they want. And these retainers as well, this isn't something new. Like some athletes are paid retainers for actively promoting shows, doing like the pre-show promo stuff. And also if they're not competing, just attending the um, meet and greets, because that's all at a cost to the athlete, obviously. If it's not a physical cost, then it's a time cost. Yeah. So that's not, you know... But that was the first time we heard that. I felt like, <laughs> I just feel bad for Luke, if I'm honest. And also, there's three sides to the story here. So we've heard Mark Boyd's side. I feel like there's a Luke side and a Colin side too. I don't know that we'll ever hear it. And I think Luke needs to focus on Worlds. Well, oh, absolutely. You know? Like, this is horrible timing for him. I can't imagine where his head is at right now. Because, like I said, if that was you, I'd be absolutely devastated. Yeah, I think... Um... We can only look at this from an athlete's perspective because that's the background that we come from. Yeah. And sometimes as the athlete, you are sort of, you're kind of stuck between promoters. You're trying to please everyone. And sometimes mm. you just, and you'll probably do this as friends and, you know, whatever. You'll say something that you don't really mean, but it's just, you say it to get out of a, an awkward situation. And, but we don't know. It's like we, we still don't actually know. Like, is that exactly how it went down? Did Luke say that um, to appease Mark and, you know, get out of something? We actually don't know. We know what we heard. We know what it sounds like. It doesn't sound good. But to be, I, I still you, just... You need every side. And, you, yeah. You know, that's, uh, I, There's more to this puzzle. I have tried to get people talking, haven't I? 
Yeah, you have. <laughs> you have. You tried to mediate between promoters and athletes and promoters. And My, my sole goal is to see the sport go forward yeah. because I started from a time when I literally did strongman in car parks in front of nobody. And there was, you, there was pittance. Actually, I've lost money many times. I've been screwed over by various different promoters in the sport before. I've been screwed over by sponsors in the sport before. And yet I was stupid enough to keep going and believe that we could get this sport bigger and better. And it is and it starting to get like that now. It's, things yeah. are better. The things that go on at World's Strongest Man are so much better than they were back in 2008 when I first did my first Worlds. The athletes are treated better. The families are treated better. There is improvements happening in the individual promoting shows everyone's looked after really well both on both sides worst giants live other shows as well things are so much better than they were a few years back when i won britain's strongest man well when i yeah when i won britain's strongest man i think i got you got five thousand, oh, a thousand a thousand, a thousand pounds dollars, yeah a thousand that? dollars um in now you win britain's strongest man and it's a big deal there's a yeah. lot of money involved yeah. you know the, the prize money's getting better the sport's growing the athletes are so much more serious about it the fans genuinely enjoy what they're seeing and now it has to keep growing and that's my goal and i think it should be all the promoters goals to work together rather than thinking just about their own things get the sport mm. bigger feed and towards from everyone man. as well not just one promoter like absolutely everyone. all of us have to work together we're a small Niche. community we yeah. think we're bigger than we are when we go on instagram and we can scroll and see everyone doing strongman stuff it's not and... a big deal <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you say in that? the grand scheme of things strongman is small and we need to try and keep it getting bigger and better mm. that's our view on it we're not going to go any more on the matter tonight because we want to focus on the positives mm. tomorrow is the start of the biggest strongman competition of the year we've got 30 athletes there if you guys have questions for us please feel free to shoot them up we are Shoot <laughs> we are super excited to to kind of focus on the positives of this yeah, year's world's strongest man. I do la last thing, Lossy, promise, last thing. I promise. do feel I promise. I do feel that this has cast a bit of a cloud on the eve of world's mm. strongest man. And you think there's 10 new guys really excited about this. And it, it does cast a bit of a shadow over it. And I just don't, you know, I just want everyone to smash it and have a great competition sure world's strongest man is what it is love it or hate it it is what it is and it's the for, biggest show for nearly all of us as well it was our introduction to strongman and we do see the like you said the improvements well, we, year on year we one, of, seen one of my hand. favorite memories of world of strongest man was the flintstone deadlift and we've got the flintstone behind the neck press back this year and they're using the exact same stones yeah, so. i wish i could be there to just kind of Touch, touch it, them. Touch it. The, the history there. You're a bigger nerd than me. There we go. Right. Run chopped. Thank you for the super chat. Redo the groups live in front of all athletes. I think that's a great idea. Not not this year, but maybe going forward, we have seeds. Pop so maybe seeds in, so you transparently. Have, you have like five to ten seeds, however many yeah. that you decide to do. People like us can chime in on, on helping with we'll that. Choose the seed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And then you have I want no part in it. <laughs> one or two in each group and yeah. then randomly pick the rest yeah no one yeah. gets the in front of everyone do it on do it on big laws official so everyone's happy <laughs> and um <laughs> <laughs> oh you are funny jamie thank you for the super chat apparently luke put a video up which was later deleted he said it was recorded by mark and don i think um uh, i have actually spoken to luke's coach and they're just trying to make him focus on the competition right. so i think his phone has been sort of taken away from him so he's not getting distracted by yeah. all of this he is a, a professional athlete he's dedicated his life to being the best athlete he can be luke does hell of a lot to make strongman better he's brought more people into the sport he's a great character of the sport he's personally one of my favorite athletes to watch if you kind of notice my predictions, I never say Luke's going to win, but he is one of my favorite athletes without question. And this, you know, if I was in his shoes, I would feel absolutely devastated. And you, you go into the biggest comp, he's put the most amount of training in, he feels he's in the best shape of his life, and he has a chance. You know, I don't think he's going to win, but that doesn't mean he can't. He's an athlete. You know, all these guys are incredible. Plenty of people tell me I couldn't win, and I went on and won. Mm. It doesn't we, matter what one person. We know what is. they all put themselves through to get they're to this level. So killing themselves to to be as good yeah. as they can. Right, you know, you know, Jimmy. Jimmy Crickets. Crickets, thank you for the super chat, my friend. <laughs> everyone says Loz hates everyone. His bracket should have been copied and pasted. What on earth is he talking about? <laughs> he just hates me. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's because you're his coach. I am. <laughs> um. 
He's getting better. I think we should quickly address this one from Pete. Neither promoter comes out of it looking well. I totally agree with you. I don't. Agreed. I think we all look like losers here. I think the sport doesn't look good, and we're trying to make the sport bigger and better, not hold it back and send it back ten years. Yeah, indeed. Right. Let's just so they don't disappear. Let's quickly do the super chats. Is World Strongest Man 2009 Group 2 the most unfair group ever? Oh, you're going to make me look it up now. Oh, it's quite funny because I've seen, I've seen athletes in different groups all <laughs> claiming they're in the group of death. Now, we've not mentioned a group of death at all. We didn't, did we? Do you know what? I, I've heard a lot about Group 2 being the group of death. But honestly, I think 3 and 4 are just as hard. If you look at Group 2, try and take any emotion out of it and look at it subjectively. You've got Mitch Hooper, who, while we do think... I think most of us can agree he could be absolutely amazing. The fact is, he's a complete rookie to international competition. Mark Felix, who when we put a video out about him last week, everyone was saying he shouldn't even be there. Not everyone, obviously, but it's been seven years since Mark made a World's Strongest Man final. You've got Bobby Thompson, who, while he's very good, he does have some weaknesses in these events. And he injured himself in April of the log lift at um, Giants Live. Then you've got Gabe who is a deadlifting monster, but again, he's got some big weaknesses here. And then you've got Janasha, who we all know Janasha is very good. And then Brian, isn't yeah. it? I don't think it's like a, I don't think Brian fans need to worry too much. I still think Brian's going to qualify. Worst case scenario, he's in a stone off. And I just don't, you know, watch our fact video. I don't see anyone beating Brian in a stone off. Do you? No, not in that group. He won't allow it. <laughs> I, I think, like, like you said, it's easy to sort of, I've been there before, 11 times at World's Strongest Man. You get the groups, and on paper you think, damn, this is this is ridiculous. Yeah. And then it just doesn't turn out to be that way. No, sometimes you know? the worst sometimes, groups. Sometimes the group out. that no one's talking about ends up being the toughest mm. group, and there's the biggest battle and most interesting. So, Oh, here we go. 2009, um, World's Strongest Man. So we had in group two, Zadronus, Brian. So to be fair... Brian had never made a final at that point. Yeah. So he wouldn't have been a heavy seed like he is these days. Stefan Solvi Pe Peterson, who, who was a very good strongman um, at that fourth, point. He was fourth not long before that. Yeah. Mark Felix, to be fair, Mark was very good at that point. Uh, Martin Vildar, who was very young at that point, wasn't he? He could have only been 12. And then who's M. White? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Oh. Forgot Marshall. Name. Marshall White. Marshall yeah, from White. From USA. Do you reckon that's the hardest? No, I don't. I've seen tougher. <laughs> there I mean, go. it's tougher for everyone else when you've got Zadrunas and Brian in your group. Yeah. That that kind of sucks. Yeah, but it wasn't but like I, I, a two thousand fourteen. I think I've, 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 I've seen a group with Brian. Phil Fister, Zadrunas, Marius Pujanovsky, and a couple of other ridiculous names as well. Yeah, there have been some tough groups. I mean, two thousand fourteen. We talk about deadlift groups. Your group was a deadlift group in two thousand fourteen because you had yeah. you and Zadrunas, who were two of the best deadlifters in the world at that point. Felix. Mark Felix, who up until that point was unbeaten at World's Strongest Man on the deadlift. Nick Best, who was also a four hundred plus deadlifter, which this was a time before everyone was a four hundred plus deadlifter. Then also, who's the um, Australian guy? What was his name? Oh, I know who you mean. Yeah, the ginger guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evan Larue. Evan Larue. Evan yeah. Larue. <laughs> Big yeah, deadlifter. He was, he was, like a 430 deadlifter, he was. He? and then you had Bjorn, who wasn't good at deadlift, but he was great overhead. Yeah. He like absolutely dominated the Viking press, if I remember. Ah, right. I'm just catching up, guys. Catching my breath. It's been it's been an eventful evening. It's been very stressful. I'm very warm. I am looking forward to everything kicking I off. I feel like all I've done this last wow well, month Edit is videos? stare at a computer. Yeah, deadlift. Devotion, thank you for the super chat. Strip Eddie and Tom's win. Cancel World Strongest Man and focus on other competitions. My reaction is strong, but it's just because I want fair competition. So disappointed. I'm pretty sure, like you can't really say that without knowing the ins and outs of the details. I mean, I don't even know why Tom's being thrown into the mix there at all. Um, because Tom's name was mentioned on that audio recording. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but. Tom won World Strong. I mean, when you get to I the, think this you, goes when, back to the fact that we said there's three sides to this story. There's yeah. going to be Colin's side, uh, Luke's side, and Mark's side. And we've heard one side of it. Do you know, I've I've heard people saying that, actually, it normally happens every single year at World's Strongest Man. Whoever ends up winning, people say they made the events favour them. There's an asterisk next to that because of this. That's something that gets said a lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm talking Sorry. to you. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, like, you know... I've won titles before and I've beaten some of the best strong men in the world. And I have events that I was extremely good at in my prime, but there's so many athletes that are extremely good at events in their 
prime. What separates the best guys, the likes of Brian, the likes of Zadrunas, Marius Pudzianowski, Magnus Ver, those multiple winners, and even guys like Thor, you put him into the mix. Although he never won Worlds more than once, he won a lot of major titles. Mm. They're just good at everything. So it doesn't matter what you throw at them. And every year at World's Strongest Man is different events. You know, when we, when we talk about the strongest man in the world, when Eddie won, there was a deadlift for Max, yeah. which everyone likes to see. There was a, there Viking, was a Viking press. press. It was a heavy Viking press. There was controversy over the Viking oh, press. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the stones were a heavy set of stones. What there else was, was the tire flip. The tire flip was heavy. I was. Mm. I mean, the, the truck pool was heavy. Every event in that that year's World's Strongest Man was heavy. And you're always going to get a split on people that some people prefer lighter fast events some people prefer heavier events. we go through eras a bit though don't we it got really heavy when it was being dominated by brian zadronis thor and then eddie as well that was a heavy era after like a more athletic know, era poor, with poor marius there. yeah i know i had to <laughs> bloody watch <laughs> i mean there's that there's that behind the scenes video where you've got Brian, Thor, and Eddie all trying to argue with Colin and to get all things trying their to way. influence Colin. And then as the well. great thing is, you've got Zadrunas just taking the piss, saying the color of the aeroplane is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I, you goading yeah. Colin into snapping yeah. and making a decision. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, they're, there's there's a lot of big egos at Worlds that all want to win, and you just need to make the rules as they are, and then everyone sticks by it. Then it's then no one can argue. Right. Paris, thank you for the super chat. Hi, distraction from the controversy. See, <laughs> oh, I can't say that word. <laughs> for which I say, poor Luke. Question one: If Frame and Yoke were in 2014, Paris, how could you do this? Do you I think like you'd Paris. have made the podium? <laughs> Damn right, I would have got a maximum of well, I would have got 20 points, guaranteed. Well, there were 12 athletes that oh, yeah, year. 24 so points, <laughs> possibly 24. As opposed to the, I think three that I got. <laughs> From the other, and that shows you. I mean, I look, I might not have got 24 points, but I, I genuinely believe I would have got at least 20 points. Yeah, they were events that I was absolutely at that time, you know, the best in the world at. Mm. Um, 2000... so it, it shows how different events can make such oh, a difference. absolutely, they change everything. And as for 2019, I think if he just had a heads up about the weight, so he could have trained for those weights, he has done exceptionally heavy yokes. You set the world record in on the woods one. yoke, which yeah. was 500 and what was it? 580. 580 kilos and you're absolutely smashed it that's that's one thing on I, i've, I've criticized it. world's strongest man on this before they need the the events i mean they had got they got the events out early this year to the athletes but they didn't get the weights out no the weights have only been announced yeah. recently and people were saying it's light but rather it go that way than the way it went in 2019 it's getting the balance right yeah and it's a weird thing to see how it fluctuates each year best not case, just in events but weights fluctuate as well yeah. best case scenario is everyone knows well ahead of time yeah. and it's a good and that, somewhere in the if, middle. If the athletes know well ahead of time, then you get the best performances from of the course. athletes as well. Yes, so that's what we And it's a little bit see. safer as well because mm. you're well prepared in what you're doing. Whereas I know there's people out there that love to see strongman as you know you just turn up and don't know the events, but the standard that now is so high it's, it's, that, that we, becomes very risky yeah, and just increases the injury pressure. chance a lot more. So it's it's yeah. good that the athletes know, and then we get to find who is the best. Right. So and into Bron Chopped comment, <laughs> comment, thank you for the super chat. What do you guys feel about the lighter weights? Um, athletes and you guys assumed heavier weights. Definitely going to change things up. What do you reckon, Leslie? Yeah, it could make a, a difference to certain events. I mean, the loading is a little bit lighter, but it's tough. It's five of five implements. I think it's eight meters that they've got to go. Mm. And they're all different implements. So you've got to kind of figure things out. Yeah. Um, definitely going to suit more conditioned guys. But you say that world strongest man platforms are usually high, and generally, not always, but generally, the bigger guys cope well at the medleys at world strongest man mm. because of that. And especially with the different awkward objects, just having longer arms helps. Yeah, it really does. It really does. You I mean, see someone, the difference like, when someone like Novikov, it, who's more normal sized, I mean, still huge, but, but normal, Novikov he's is very the, fast, and he's the smartest person I've seen at picking something up. Yeah, for someone is. who doesn't have gigantically long arms. He figures everything out. He's in lost mugs, by the way. <laughs> if you look at Wuss 2021 Bahrain, yeah, he was the loading super... there, he was the only person, or maybe two people got that tire up in the end. Tom Tom did it just a bit behind him, but yeah. All right, okay. Novikov was very good. I don't good even think him. it was Tom, to be fair. Tom I was think... second. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, then. I'll, I'll Tom's you. very good at loading. I know he is, I know. All right. 
Scrum but yeah, I mean, three. you know, the log, for instance, the log a few years back was 160 for reps. This year it's 145, but they've increased the time limit. So instead of 60 seconds or 75 seconds, it's going to, you know, it's going to test the guys. They're going to have to be well prepared for that. It's very, very hot out there. Mm. That is a big factor that a lot of the guys, especially the newbies, won't be used to. Um, and also the stop-start nature of worlds. That is something that will find a lot of people out. It's something I didn't enjoy. No, no, definitely not. Me neither. There's Angel. You guys are put between a rock and a Welsh and a span hard place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing as well. We, you know, we, we work try with and work promoters. with all the promoters. Like, literally, our goal is get strongman bigger and better. You know, we we just love the sport and we don't want to see stuff like this. We don't want stuff like this happening either. We want transparency. We want fairness for everyone. But we also want professionalism want on all parts in the way that things are decided, athletes are treated, but the way these issues are broached as well. Yeah. So I just, you know. Ooh, don't get me started. <laughs> Possible pilot deviation. Thank you for the super chat. Thoughts on having one large qualifying group with athletes. Narrow down from 30 or to 10. Can I answer this one? Yes. Because this has been something I've wanted to see for a long time. Scrap the groups. Let's go down either 16, 20, 30, 40. I don't care how many it is. Everyone competes against each other. Can I be the protagonist? You can, uh, can in a minute. And... <laughs> Um, yeah, like I, mean, I like the way that OSG do it. So you have I do too. all the athletes in and then they have like four or five events as a qualifying system. And then the top everyone competes against each other. And then the top 10 after that go through to the final and the placings are then reduced. So even if you got beat by people that were out. Or, it takes their schools out of the yeah. equation. So say someone was it's... just really good at one yeah. event and they won that or well, they were second on that. Event. Yeah, yeah. But the third place happen. person would jump up to second then. Yeah. And, you know. It basically strips out the people that are removed from the competition. So it was as if you just competed yeah. against who ended up in the top 10. The, right, the protagonist bit. Yes, go for it. All right. We know the format for World Strongest Man. They make six or seven TV shows out of it. How do you make the TV shows? Because imagine one event per TV show where you've got 30 guys deadlifting. No, I understand. I mean, I would watch it. But I understand that. I, but I, 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 like, I like the idea of how CrossFit do things. So instead of having say, two guys go head-to-head -head on a yoke, have 10 guys go head-to-head -head on a yoke. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, so you've got, like, that, a, yeah, that's quite a, cool, a, a head-to-head race yeah. or something like that. Yeah. There's there's different ways of doing it about it. And then it's hard to find what's perfect because some people will prefer one way, some people will prefer another. They You're tried, never going to... They tried something completely different in 2004, didn't yeah, that they? Was a, but a strange... it was hard to follow. It I was. still don't understand it. I've watched it maybe five times. <laughs> Weird, weirdly, I quite like 2004. But... I do, too, because there were so many events. Yeah. <laughs> but... God, it, was, I, it was brutal on the athletes. And I don't know what was going on. I still don't to this day. <laughs> right. Who else is here? <laughs> Got lots of our members in. Thank yeah. you to all our members. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free. Auntie Liz. <laughs> you don't get much it. extra for it right now because I can barely keep up with the public <laughs> stuff. But um, but yeah, obviously. It and of course, us to you make know, more content for don't you forget to, to like the video, guys, yeah, and subscribe to the channel. Did it right. Well done, Lazo. You usually call it a page, don't yeah, you? I'm old. Much to my annoyance. <laughs> B, B zooms. What do you guys think of the weights for the groups? They seem fairly light, especially the car walk, which is 50 pound lighter than the ooh, 2011. Oh, I was surprised at the weight of the car walk, especially, mm. at, I mean, maybe I made too much of a fuss about heavy, how heavy they made the yoke in 2019. Um, I think the right weight for this type of competition, particularly as a qualifying heat, at World Strongest Man, I think a thousand pounds is about right for the qualifying yeah. heat. Maybe a bit heavier in a final. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit lighter than I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, but cars are a bit awkward as well. Yeah. They're a little bit different to to yokes. And it it could, you know, and I am completely guessing. Could it be something to do with the elements and the heat over there right now? I've competed in hot. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to throw different ideas yeah. out there. I don't know the answer. <laughs> no one tells us anything. Do they? They're like, these are the groups. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, as a fan, I see why people kind of question it because without knowing any ins and outs, it seems weird that events' weights change so much mm. each year. So I, I totally get why people are interested in that. And yeah, I mean, some athletes are going to be thinking, yes, that's great because I'm, I mean, I've got training partners that could beat me. I mean, not in my prime, maybe, but mm. they could beat me on a lighter yoke or a lighter set of farmers. But as you go heavier, where the strength is a bit more important, it's I would beat sure. them. Yeah. Um, like Brian Shaw, for instance, the heavier, the better for him. Yeah. 
as it gets a bit lighter, he's not. He, like, he doesn't yeah. move fast. Kind of, no, he know. moves the same with 500 as he does with 400. Yeah. 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 Right. Marina, thank you for the super chat. Do athletes have to pay for their own accommodation at World's Strongest Man? I was a little shocked to see the difference in the Stoltman Bros room. No, they don't. Everyone has a paid for room. There have been, like Colin, uh, Colin, Brian has always opted to pay for his own accommodation, usually away from the other athletes. Yeah, Brian and guys like Brian and Eddie would go and get their own villas. And Ed and Thor sometimes did as well, like because he yeah. used to bring his family, he used to get a place there, for all There is them. a good chance that Tom has upgraded his room. And because that's what I usually do when we go somewhere. <laughs> so honestly, that's probably the difference. Luke is in the prepaid for room and Tom has gone all bougie and... <laughs> upgraded it or maybe maybe well I, I don't know maybe because, the returning champion yeah, gets maybe, a fancy maybe room. they decided returning champion we're going to treat him well i don't i uh, honestly we don't know i'd be demanding a sweep <laughs> if i was the champion not as myself that's why we're home and not at world's strongest man because they know auntie it. liz would be demanding a sweep never never <laughs> <laughs> only demand it from you no? <laughs> rich thank you for the super chat Loz, how and why are your fingernails so white? Is it because you're so tan? Me and my wife couldn't figure out. Do you know what? The amount of comments this last week or two has Loz got white nail varnish, right? Put your fingers closer to the camera. He hasn't. He's just got very tan skin and incredibly clean and white nail beds. They're not so clean right now. Well, okay. Well, just well, they're usually the quite clean. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's just... How you are, isn't it? Yeah, everyone keeps mentioning them. I don't know, yeah. maybe I'm ill or something. I don't know. Well, do you know what? I looked it up because mm. I thought, is there a medical reason? And it might be something to do with your renal um, <laughs> function. <laughs> It could well, be I have some. Thing. I have. I have some blood tests coming yeah. up soon. So I don't know why I'm check. laughing. <laughs> but to be honest, they've always been that colour, so that doesn't fuss. Yeah, and you've had plenty of bloods over the years, yeah. so we just think it's the way Dolls is. There you go. Liz doesn't like her. I mean, Liz actually has a fake tan right now, don't you? Yeah, I do. And even then, I'm pale next to you. It's we just because I knew how tired I would look this week. So I got some little eyelashes on and I thought, little spritz of a tan. God, I had to have the tan in between filming videos. So if you go back and watch the Tom video, I've just had the tan <laughs> and it's developing. So I couldn't put any makeup on top of it. And it is developing throughout the video. Do you get darker as we go on? I get darker as the video goes <laughs> on. If you go back and watch it, I nearly wrote a disclaimer in the comments, but no one's really mentioned, but that's probably because I tried to do some color correction <laughs> in the editing. It was a disaster. Finest Jenny Beans, thank you so much for the super chat. This revelation explains why Oberst hasn't won World's Strongest Man yet. Agreed. Also, how do you think you'd have done on the Flintstone lift? Would you go behind the neck? Yes, I would have gone behind the neck. Um, I was in my prime. I was pretty explosive. Uh, I had the Axel World Record for a very short period of time because Mr. Yeah. Adrenal Saviscus went and took it, it immediately after um, you. Yeah, <laughs> it's very hard to say because. You know, when I was in my prime, it was a different time to, to we are now. And I, I don't know. I think I think I would have placed OK. Uh, I was quite expect It would probably suit me more than, say, a log. A uh, log tends to require a bit more brute power through yeah. shoulders and triceps, whereas the behind the neck press jerk of yeah. whatever you want to call it, you can get away with being a bit more explosive. And as I, when I was younger, I was a lot more flexible. Now mm. I'm like a board. But Your push press out of the rack was always very strong, yeah, wasn't it? I mean, you know, I put some decent numbers up overhead at, at a time when they were decent numbers. <laughs> yeah. The sport moves on. It does. The evolution. It's, you know, I don't like to compare what I would do now because it's a different era and I've had my time. There we go. Ben, um, thank you for the super chat. Seems everyone's overlooking Martins. Great channel. You, I don't know. There's there's a big split between people that think Martins will win, people that think Tom will win, and people that think Brian will win. That's the three names I'm seeing over and over again. You know, there are people that are mentioning other people, but those are the three that I keep saying a lot. Three, yeah. Now, seeing a lot. Yeah. And I think that's with good reason as well. I think on paper, events, when you look at the events, it suits Brian and Tom the most. But then when you look at what Martins has done since his comeback, like how can you look past him? You just can't. He's so consistently good. I can't wait. It's going to be good. Yeah. Martins, I want to put, just remind you, before we knew the events, someone said, pick a winner. I picked Martins. I know. <laughs> just, you know. It's funny as well, because <laughs> I try and be positive about all the athletes. And then everyone says, oh, you're a huge Martins fan. Oh, you're being too favorite oh, to, get... to the British. Oh, you're being too nice about Brian. 
Do you know what? So far, <laughs> touch wood, but so far this year, I have not been accused of hating Brian yet. Oh, so... you will be now. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, it was last year before the final stones, and I said I reckon Maxine might place against ahead of Brian, yeah. which he ended up doing. <laughs> and, oh. and Are you right, Elizabeth? I was harassed, and it wasn't even just on YouTube. They came to my Instagram, lovely. <laughs> like, Why do you hate Brian? Sure. What's your Instagram? No, I'm not telling anyone. <laughs> it's a secret. It's going private. <laughs> <laughs> Feta cheese, great name. What's that um, icon, Lozzie? Can you it see it? It looks like some cheese. Oh, oh, thank, thank you, you so much, much for the cheese. I love cheese, but I'm on a diet, so um, I haven't been Lost some weight, cheese. haven't you? Lost five kilos, just mm. in case anyone's interested. I was getting chunky. <laughs> Spencer, thank you for the super chat. Thumb refresh exercises, everyone. Let's go. I'll leave the well, thumb. Like, look at this. is default. It's just weird. Look, no one should have a thumb that long. It's, it's like a, a, a fifth finger. This thumb has served me well. <laughs> Although there's a couple of people I haven't been able to beat, Lazo. There we go. Hey, I look, Lazo. You were king of the yolk. That's nice, isn't it? King of the yolk. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Oh, sugar. Where's what everything have you done? gone? What have I've you done? You've messed down. it up. Hold on. Hold on. I can do this. I can do this. Right. Quick, fill the time. Talk to people. <laughs> you were just sitting there going, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I'm. I, uh, it is funny. I've seen so many people going on about the group of death. I yeah. think I think the three middle groups are the toughest three. I think that I is think so too. Two, three, to and four. Say. I think Tom's group is harder than people are making out because Kevin and Ivers are both former finalists, both very, very good. Mm, they are. I just think the events... I mean, Tom's a returning champion. He's... Yeah. The, I think the issue is that Alexi had such a tough group last year, but I think that group overperformed to World Strongest Man's expectations, possibly. Well, we keep saying Although every year I said the, when the I standard gets better. Mm. So, I mean, that's what we want. We want If you're going to have 30 guys at Worlds, let's get 30 of the best. There's mm. a couple of guys I've had arguments over who, uh, who got invited, but, you know, once they're there, you've got to let them get on with it. And We don't have any power no. over these things anyway, do we? Not I think also a lot of people are underestimate, uh, underestimating Group 4. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, Martins has been given a free ride into the final. That's a tough group. That's a really tough group. And even though there are a few newbies in that group in terms of first-timers, I think Shane and Pavlo are two of the absolute best newbies to World Strongest Man in this competition. And I don't think it's going to be easy. I still expect Martins to win the group. I think that's a tough group. It Especially is. Especially with group. Maxime in there, too, who came third last year. There's a lot of good, good up and coming athletes in that group. Yeah. Right. What's this? Script. Thank you for the super chat. Should the World Strongest Man organizer now apologize to Thor? What do you reckon, Lasse? World Strongest Man. Is a TV run by a TV company that involves a lot of people. Yeah, there's no the, one person. There's no Mr. World Strongest yeah, Man who runs so the a, show. It's a really Colin and Darren are employed or contracted by World Strongest Man for their part in it at the time. But then mm. there's the TV people that come in. There's the um, equipment people. There's so I many mean, moving let's, parts. Let's look at it this way: without World Strongest Man, where would Thor be? I'm not sure. Like now, if, this if, is this is coming from someone that I've at times been very frustrated with treatment at World Strongest Man, to me personally. Mm. But without World Strongest Man, none of you would know who I am. That's true. And you know, Thor's gone on to become a Thor big did. superstar, and it started because of World Strongest Man. Mm. But so that, his name has to... also been dragged through the mud. Oh, it has, but not really by World Strongest Man. Mm, it's no, by. You know, they they still do things for him now, behind the scenes. Mm. I, I, IMG do. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a difficult one because it's not an individual person. It's a whole company, and the staff change every single year. Yeah, to be fair, <laughs> that's, that's the hard true. thing with with World Strongest Man. Usually, yeah. there's someone in, in you get charge used for a long to someone, time, and then they're and then gone. Else. <laughs> yeah. And that's probably the hardest thing with Worlds that they don't have strongman experts. Yeah. It, and, you know, they've got TV experts, they've yeah. got medical experts, they've got travel experts, they've got, you know, experts in every area. But also... And it's channels like ours, they use, you know, Magnus Ver, Colin, whoever it might be, as their experts mm. in the sport. I don't feel like I'm used as an expert. <laughs> no, but we kind of... They, we do know that they watch our channel. We muscle our way in. <laughs> but also, should... 
they all uh, apologized to Thor. What if tomorrow Luke put out a statement saying, I was being pressurized to compete at this WUS competition. So I said whatever I could think of to get myself out of it. And I'm not saying that's the case, but what if he said that? There's just always two sides. Do you know what I mean? There's two sides to the story. And I, yeah, I just think maybe we're jumping the gun a little bit. I like this one. We're quickly, sorry. My block strongest man. We love my block strongest man. His predictions are terrible. I'm going to stick to that. <laughs> but I think the I quite like the, I quite like this comment. And he's he's right. Martin's as good at everything. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. What is Martin's bad at? Oh. Does he? What so did I, I say? I know, but you've been falling behind. <laughs> Time for a top 10 toughest groups and world strongest That's a history. great video we could look into, but right. right this second, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> yeah, off the top of your head. <laughs> Every single group I did. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> if you ask any athlete, oh, that's the group of death. Yeah, I always thought that. Ah, oh, I'm in the group of death this year. Yeah. I mean, nine times out of ten, I was. But... <laughs> yes. I think you had one good group in 2016, which was after you won Europe, so you were a seed mm. that year. And then you went and um, pulled your calf in the first event in the finals, didn't you? <laughs> Poor Lozzy, no luck at Worlds. Which event in the heats are you most excited for? Oh, um, I'm quite excited for the wrecking ball hold. It's weird. I was looking at it, and I was trying to figure out how I would do it. And I think you can cheat it. No, so it says in the rules they're not allowed to hold their hands against their legs or anything. Mm, so it has to be, be directly through their legs and they'll have their legs spread. So it's quite awkward to just hold that weight, not just on your yeah. grip. Yeah, holding so you can't through rest that it through on your body or anything. is going to be tough. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be quite draining, especially having done a deadlift. <laughs> I don't know one falls down the hole. <laughs> yeah, I think there's oh. going to be, you know, I think um, I'm looking forward to the deadlift ladder because that's a, a different variation on a deadlift. And because it's a little bit lighter than we were expecting, you know, a lot of people were saying in Novikov's group, for instance, so that group stacked with incredible... Is it Novikov that's got the incredible deadlift group? No, that's no, Brian. Brian. Mm. Actually, could be a problem for Brian. Yeah. Brian's not the quickest when it comes to transitions. So mm. if those other guys are faster, then he could lose some points there. Yeah. But I think someone like Novikov will be quick. I think so too, yeah. And, you know, and also the top weight is only 380, and I think that really works in someone like Novikov's favour. Yeah, I agree. And also the guys that don't yeah. have the most incredible grip, it works in their favour too, because it means the jumps are a bit less, aren't they? What are the weights for the World's Strongest Man events? I believe that the deadlift is 300, jumping up in 20 kilo jumps to 380. Yeah. The log is 145 kilos, yeah. which is just shy of, I think it's about 320 pounds. Um, the car is about, I think, 330 kilos, 900 and Is it uh, 950 kilos? pounds, was something it? Like something that. like that. Yeah. What are the things for the loading race? They're all 120 kilos, right, okay. but there's five different objects, and they've got to move eight meters with each. So eight mm. meters there, eight meters back. It's quite a lot over five for, for a strong man. They don't yeah. like moving. <laughs> Jiminy Crickets, thank you for the super chat. Do we know if it will be in sand this year? It won't be, because all the... I'm pretty certain because I've seen the site map of where yeah. everything's going to be and it's all going to be in one area and I can't for a, a minute imagine why there would be sand in that area unless they bring sand in, which is pretty cruel. <laughs> and no, none of it's going to be in sand. You always hated the sand. Oh, you, it's so. just draining. Yeah. Me against Nick Best in 2010. Ten. Yeah, you lost out in the final to Nick, didn't that you? A, that was a bad Sand thing. and water. Ooh. Water's I've awful seen, as yeah, well, isn't ask it? Ask Brian Shaw and Zadrunas about the water. Yeah, 2010. When uh, Zadrunas nearly drowned <laughs> and so Brian lost his sack. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and ultimately the title that year as yeah, well. Definitely. There we go. Beesmas, thank you for the super chat. Would you like to see the return of the wild card? Yes. And I think this is the perfect year to do it as well because everyone's doing the same events. So it's really, really easy to see who has done better because you just take the two highest scoring third place guys from the group. It, it would be good to see. The final. I would love a bigger final. Yeah, I would as well. I think we've I think... got so many great athletes that we know. Yeah. I mean, what is it? We've got 15 former finalists competing this year. Yeah, 15 former finalists. And obviously, you know, some are going to have to lose out. But when you look at, like, um, how many uh, athletes does the Arnold have? 10 normally. Okay, so 10 there. But the Shaw Classic has like 16. 16. Last year. Worcesters have 15 in some of their competitions. There's so many great guys now. I would love to see a bigger final at Welsh Shaw, man. I think it would be more exciting. Yeah, definitely. Uh, some of the questions. Talk about Robert Ovest's head. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, where can I see this video? Blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, press like. Yeah, do that. Uh, what is your... a proud member for seven months there. Uh, a... Yeah, thanks, Thank Black you Boy. so much to all of you that support the channel. Yeah, we really appreciate you. And there we go, you. We got a, a new member. One. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I've not been very good at um, putting up uh, member-only stuff. <laughs> but um <laughs> it's just been is you you just worked me too hard, Lossie. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we gotta bring the best content to everyone. We try our best, we don't do. we? Yeah. It was talked about. Yes. For got? anyone who's joining the chat, it was talked about for a solid 15 minutes at the beginning of the video. So please yeah. do rewind because we don't want to keep uh, going on about it. Obviously, this wasn't why we scheduled this live yesterday. We scheduled it because it's yeah, the we are, of We World are doing Strongest a live Man. every night this week um, with the excitement of World's Strongest Man. Luke's video said 2020 for audio before Tom's win. I didn't see Luke's video. so No, I haven't seen no. either. I was at the gym and I was rushing to... home because we were planning this anyway. Yeah, I was uh, making dinner for the kids and getting them in bed. I said, don't talk about it live. <laughs> Oh, look what happens when you touch the screen, Lozzie. <laughs> no, no, you were there, you were yeah. there, you were there. There we go. You've got to go up. No, no, that's the one that we were on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you are. Um, Nicola is always supporting us. Yes. Nicola, yes, we have. If you um, rewind to the beginning of the video, it is all covered right at the start there. Richard, thank you for the super chat. Since there is no federation in terms of a governing body, presumably, uh, when there is disputes or issues with the sport, how do you actually solve them? And this is it's a big what, part of the problem. This, this is something that we do need to address and mm -hmm. something that needs to get better. And I get angry with athletes a lot of the time because I've been at competitions where we're at an athlete's meeting. And this is like since I finished competing. And I, even when I was competing, I was one of the few people that would stick my hand up and ask questions and say, why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? Blah, blah, blah. Mm. And I've seen... Loads of them like come away from meetings. Oh, why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing yeah, that? Like, they don't bring it up it at the, the time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> athletes yeah. have to have to voice their opinions because there isn't um, a federation to protect them. Yeah. I mean, there's like there's pockets like in America, there's strongman corp where you get a pro card and there's a process there, but that doesn't exist here. Like, and you know, the likes of Evan Singleton, he doesn't have a pro card. He doesn't need a pro card. He goes and he's doing Giants Live and winning those and going to World's Strongest Man. But there was something like that, wasn't there? When there was IFSA and then it all split off and it got really messy. And we don't want to see another massive divide in the sport, but it feels like this is the route it will go down. Communication is key at the moment. And I think yeah. a, a, eventually a federation would be a great idea. Maybe with like a governing like, body. There's a Drunus involved, maybe like a Brian Shaw, maybe someone like myself. I don't know. But um, I think people that you know genuinely care about the development of the sport I haven't spent 20 years in this sport because I hate it. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's a lot of people that try and come in and they're trying to do things real quickly. And then they're like, oh, this crap, we're off. Yeah. You know, there's people that genuinely want this to get bigger and better. Yeah. And that means we do need to have change. We yeah. need to improve things and get things better. And we are slowly seeing it. It just needs a bit more yeah. like, kick it's up. Not the as <laughs> fast as everyone would like, but, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? So now, thank you so much for the super chat. Talking luke's audio clip in oh taking it into consideration sorry do you guys think the hathor's 2017 performance was affected by this and should they offer him an apology i know you've just super chat but i feel like we just answered this exact question yeah. i think until we have all sides of the story like why would they apologize because they might go what the hell this yeah. is all none of this is true we don't know but it's the first time we've heard the audio so and you were never offered favors were you Nope, I competed in that 2017 competition. I believe I placed seventh, something like that. Mm. Yeah. Too much info, Liz. What did I say? <laughs> oh, it might have been when I said renal. That's kidneys. That's kidneys. Come on, Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> Kidney function. God, honestly, where's your mind? Right, <laughs> why economics? Thank you for the super chat. Hope Liz gets more than a spa weekend, maybe a spa month. Thank you so much. For <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, it's going to be great, actually, because we finished World's Strongest Man. Then we got a week off with the kids. We're going to have a few fun days with them. Spa weekend that weekend, which is my birthday. And then the week after, we're going to Estonia and we're going to be hanging out with Rano, Rano and Ivers and Mateusz and possibly Martins as well. And I think Janash is coming. So cool. it's going to be a big party and I'm going to film it as well. So we're going to have lots of fun and um, it's going to be a fun month. I'm looking forward to June. Uh, right. 
what are you looking for? I don't know. I'm just scrolling. Like sometimes we I need, see people we, and they're replying to other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So out of context, it doesn't make much sense. No, that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, in the there we go. He's bottom chopped. Singleton will win his group. Uh, the easiest by far. These are great events for Evan. I I think Evan's really got, good events. Like you can put him in any group this year, and yeah. Evan is going to be very dangerous. Yeah. He is. He's very good at a lot of these events. He does have a bit of a shoulder issue, which is a, the only concern for me. Yeah. But um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. No, at I that. Just, what are you Sorry. laughing at? Come on, I share just, the share the joke. Liz hates Brian. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Uh, why is Liz hating Brian? But my personal favourite, can't believe Liz cut Brian's brakes and salted his land so nothing <laughs> would <will> grow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. You guys are brutal. <laughs> <laughs> why you hate Brian? Oh, I'm going to get like a I Heart Brian t-shirt and just wear it across worlds just in case. <laughs> Dylan, thank you for the super chat. In my opinion, Tom and Martins are safe picks, but damn, the story of Alexi or Brian winning is hard to beat. Yeah, in turn, what are you doing, Lozzie? It just refreshed. That's <laughs> You've got to do it very slowly. Yes, I, I agree. I think um, there are lots of great stories at World's Strongest Man this year. If you look at Martins' story, you know, back, a lot of people wrote him off and he's won two big internationals since his comeback. Can this be a third? Because he's the there's, linear champion, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, there's so many great stories this year. I mean, if Tom repeats, that would be incredible. If Brian won the fifth, that would be just an incredible story. And yeah, I mean, if Alexi if, with everything that's oh, going on. If is, Alexi won, I think yeah. no one would be disappointed. No. And then, I mean, no, um, Martins, this is, if he came back and won, the Rogue Invitational, the Arnolds, and then World's Strongest Man, those three in a row. What a what a story that is. Yeah. And then there's all the other guys that are a threat as well. I mean, I do feel, my personal view is that the champion will come from one of those four. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a former champion just because Evan's got the shoulder issue. And when we really delved in, I feel actually that was really helpful in terms of determining, because sometimes you can be really swayed by a name. Yeah. But then if you actually look at the events and look at their history on the event and who they've been up against in that event and the weights, et cetera, Absolutely. It, it really changes everything. Sometimes we're really drawn to names and we're all guilty of it, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. yeah. I've been in comps where you like, and I, I got good over the years at not really caring who was in a group or who was in a competition and just trying to focus on my own performance mm. because sometimes that big name just has a terrible day. Yeah. And, you know, we may, I mean, with what happens with Luke, that is going to affect him. Mm. You know, mentally it has to. Yeah. We've been in situations where I've been at a comp before and the night before we've had an argument. And You're right, lost it. But no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to explain to people that every single one of these athletes is a normal human being. Yeah, with normal. Yes, they're superhumans that can do these incredible feats of strength, but they all have things that go behind the scenes. Yeah, of course. Kids, like, one month before Britain's Strongest Man, I think it was a 2000, when Alexa got ill, 2019. <sighs> Yeah, 2019, yeah. yeah. So a month before competing for, for Britain's, our daughter got really, really ill. She had RSV, didn't she? she we were in hospital. hospital for a week, didn't eat, didn't train, didn't, like, you know, everything was just about my daughter. Her, yeah. And that was terrible prep for a competition, but sometimes you just got to cope with it. Mm. And these things happen. You've just got to kind of deal with it. And a lot of us don't always know what's going on behind the scenes. You know, I never made that public at the time mm. because – it was private to us. It wasn't something I wanted everyone to sort of know about at the time. But, um, you know, that affected my prep massively. And we don't know what's gone on for other people. You know, there's always issues. So as an athlete, we can have our opinions. Yeah. Other people have their opinions. and you know, But we don't know what they've gone through. So until it all starts, the predictions and everything else mean nothing. No more. We're not scared and not, not talking about it. Uh, the first 15 minutes, we do nothing but talk about it. So if you rewind, you will see it. But obviously, we scheduled this video before the leak and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> so um, Also, let's, let's kind of like, you know, we have lived our life in Strongman. Absolutely lived my life for the last 20 years in Strongman. I know the ins and outs of the sport better than anyone. I know all the crap that go, has gone on behind the scenes. I know all the good that goes on behind the scenes. Some of those other channels don't, and they will just report instantly on whatever they feel is going to get, you know, hits. That's, that's fact. You know, I'm just kind of being totally honest there. My goal is always 
get strongman better. Mm. And at the moment, we're going into the biggest competition of the year. Mm. It gets the most faces on the sport. And I want to try and keep the, you know, the, the story as positive as possible. I'm not saying things don't need to be addressed and improved because rightly they do. Video. Things always need to get better. I think we need to organize some kind of meeting with people so they can work together and get yeah. this sport better. That's what I want to see. I don't want us to keep shitting on a sport that is small as it is, it is yeah. and it's slowly growing. And if we kind of keep doing stuff like this, it's going to send it back. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help anyone. No. Yeah. Taking down any organization only really, like obviously it hurts that promotion, but more, more, more than anything, it hurts the athletes. Like, yeah, corruption hurts the athletes too, but there's, proper ways of dealing with things is I think what we're getting at Ben if you could choose a body part of any strong man who for each one would you have arms legs shoulders brain etc who's Ooh. whose body bits would you choose <laughs> think <it's super. laughs> should I let this answer this or no me? <laughs> that's creepy <sighs> arms yeah I liked I liked um Derek Poundstone's arms. Okay, yeah. Huge, yep. And powerful. They were functional, so he was strong. He was yeah. strong. Keep going. <laughs> shoulders. It's a drunus. Yeah. It's a drunus, his yeah. shoulders. Legs. We're talking strength, not aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, legs. Something like myself. I've got nice legs. <laughs> um, Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would Yeah, you'd, I know, I agree. agree. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, grip, Mark Felix, mm. hands. Uh, brain, someone like... Novikov has a great strongman brain. Magnus Ver Magnuson, mm. very intelligent when it comes to figuring things out and yeah. getting the best out of him. But back, Eddie Hall. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie's back and legs were, were beastly. Mm. Um, I wouldn't actually want to change. Like, I'm quite happy being me, but, yeah. you know, in a hypothetical world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that would... That would be nice. Marco, thank you for the super chat. Is Mateusz plagued by injuries forever? Do you know, I was Don't talking to someone that. about this today, and people wrote me off when I was 32, something like that, mm -hmm. saying, Loz will never win anything. He gets too many injuries. He's finished. Yeah. And I, I was having this conversation about Mateusz and um, Luke Richardson, because there's been a lot of talk of those two guys, people saying that they're, they're, they're done. Mm. At their age, right, firstly, they're younger than I was, and both of them are more talented than I was. And I'm okay admitting that. They're, they're two of the most talented guys I've ever met. As long as they are smart, they will be back, and they will be dangerous. Kieliszkowski, I feel, needs someone helping him a little bit. Yeah. I think he's just got this... But the right people. Balls to the wall approach, you know. He wants to do everything harder in training than it is in competition, and often... When you, and I know this from experience, when you're coming back from it, it's fine when you're young. You're young, you're indestructible, but when you start getting injured, you need to be a bit smarter about training and, and learn. As long as he's learning and kind of figuring things out, he will be back and he will be dangerous. Yeah, we saw that at Worcester Dubai yeah. last year, didn't we? And Luke as well. I think Luke is a future world's strongest man. He just needs to get Luke himself... Richardson yes, right yes. Now, Luke Richardson, you? I think he's got an amazing future ahead of him. Yeah. He just needs to be smart and, you know, we'll he see He was him just again. unlucky, wasn't he? Yeah, That absolutely. second bicep. <laughs> Uh, Nicola, thank you so much for the hard work. Oh, thank you, Nicola, for always sticking by us and um, just thank always you all for here. for the support and the, you know watching the videos and the super chats and memberships and Everything. buying the mugs, buying the mugs, <laughs> putting up and with our mugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we you know it's oh. like a, a big fun family, especially when these big competitions are on. We yeah. sort of love chatting to you all, and you know it's been so for me. It's been so passionate for. 20 years mm. i've managed to find a wife that doesn't mind strongman so much so that was it's good, always good. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was good force fed it for the first yeah. six months of our relationship to be fair <laughs> like, this is strongman <laughs> and must learn about it yeah <laughs> andrew thank you so much for the super chat absolutely love listening to you guys and your opinions and how honest they are coming from no man's land, Nebraska, United States. Oh, thank, thank you, you very Andrew. much, Andrew. We appreciate that. And it's really hard sometimes because we we genuinely have so many great relationships in this sport, and that's with the athletes and the promoters. As we already said, we work with nearly all the promoters, with Rogue, with the Arnolds, with Giants Live, with Wuss, and now, you know, World's Strongest Man are like, oh, you know, do you want to do the athlete announcement and stuff? And it's a really privileged position. And um, when stuff like this happens, it's really hard and sad. 
more than anything, it just makes me feel sad. The, the sad thing is, because Strongman is such a small knit community, most of us know each other. We, know, I mean, we all know each other. Like, we yeah. know almost everyone now because we're involved with the lighter weight, you know, events. Yeah, we're involved exactly. with the women's side yeah. of things. So we know so many people that love this sport and want to see it get bigger and better. Yeah. Happy vibes. Mm. Yeah, we like happy vibes. Yeah, here's a good question. Do you think Brian will keep competing if he wins his fifth world strongest man title? I think he'll do the Shaw Classic. Don't you think he might go, like, that would, if he won this year, imagine the confidence he would have that he could win it again. I think he'd go for six. Why would you stop at five? Well, what That's the record. What happens if he doesn't do well this year? That's not the question. No, I, I know. I'm just trying to throw it in yeah. a different kind of way. I don't know. I mean, if he won this year, and I think the reality is this is probably the last chance. People have been saying that for a long time, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, he came second last year. It, and, you it's know, already been six years since he won. No one's ever won after a, a gap that long from winning. After a gap longer than two years, no one's won. Yeah, I, I, think, that, I think the reality is it's going to be very hard for Brian to win. I do believe he's he'd be got... The, he'd be the oldest champion. Yeah, I mean, statistically, everything's against him. Yeah. But we know how great a champion he is. We know he came second last year. He's still very much a danger. I personally think Brian's going to be around third or fourth. Okay. That's what, That's what I think. But, you know, I'd be more than happy to be proven wrong. Now, thank you for the super chat. What's the plan for your daily coverage? What detailed stuff do we get? Big up the spreadsheet crew. P.S. I hope to get to go Are you going on that holiday after this. I thank you now. So the plan is every single day, like obviously it's happening in California. So you're more than likely, if you're in the UK especially, going to be waking up to the results um, show that we do. So we're going to do a, um, a wait watch live because we're going to be able to see this year results coming through. There's not going to be... Um, it's not like a, a live stream or anything as uh, as lovely as that, <laughs> but we will see live updates, which is going to be quite exciting and reminiscent of last year's final when we were all watching the Stones results coming through. Yeah. And then after that, once we've got the day's results, we're going to film our nice, more polished recap video, which you guys would be able to watch in the morning if you're in the UK. But we are going to have access to photos and some B-roll this year. So look out for that as well. We don't have to close our eyes and fantasize anymore. <laughs> No. As much as we may want to. <laughs> so you're gonna we're doing a we a haven't <laughs> it's the whole first 15 minutes of the video. <laughs> I'm more <laughs> it's more annoying being accused of uh avoiding it when it was the first question that yeah, we, we did spend about 15 minutes on it. Yeah. Right. Oh dear. Now go on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh goodness! Look, done? it's all gone peak tong now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do a dance or something. <laughs> I saw someone saying, "I know it was all corrupt." Um, I was there. You guys weren't there. You know, I've <laughs> world's strongest man has been the same every year. The events get set. Mm. The athletes do them. Yeah. The groups then, never the, look a hundred percent to then, me. <laughs> then you know, I, I, I've been putting groups. I'm like. This is clearly unfair. <laughs> yeah. But I have yeah. thought about, about your group before. I've thought, bloody hell. Like yeah. your 2014 group, I felt was really hard. Mm. I felt that your 2016 was much easier for yeah. you. But to be yeah. fair, you just won Europe. Well, that's, that's the thing with the groups. I mean, there's all it's always going to be like that because you can we've we've tried to do the groups. You guys go and try and do the groups. Yeah. You know, try and do the groups. I saw someone on the comments saying, Oh, Tom's got a really easy group. Tom is the number one seed. He's the returning champion, mm -hmm. and he still has two former finalists in his group. I don't think Tom's is the easiest group. I do feel Tom wins his group, but I don't feel it's the easiest group. Mm, agreed. And until we kind of watch how it plays out, like I said, on paper, it can look one way. It doesn't always go that way in reality. Mm. There we go. Someone saying uh, the wrecking ball. Oh, it's Monica. <laughs> the wrecking ball hold looks like it's going to be interesting. Usually, I'd, I would say any sort of um, hold event is probably the most boring type of event. But actually, I do love a bit of new equipment yeah. at a competition. So I am excited to see that one and just see how it's going to challenge the guys that we've been half and on about being great at grip. <laughs> Spencer, thank you so much for the super chat. Sent one earlier about day of world strongest man perspective. What's he saying? Um, I'm guessing he wants to know what it's kind of like a day at World's Strongest Man is like. You do that then. So when the athletes arrive at World's Strongest Man, 
Um, first day, they're just chilling out, kind of getting used to the hotel or, or wherever it is they're staying. Uh, first, like the, the, the next morning, you have your athletes meeting. And after the athletes meeting this year is when we did the live with Terry announcing the groups. And all the athletes had to tune into that to find out their groups. After you've kind of gone through the meeting where they'll go through the rules, um, they'll also introduce who you need to know. So they'll introduce people to the doctors, the medical staff, TV people, because there's there's the TV TV. Then there's a, like there's American TV, there's British TV, there's social media, there's magazine stuff. There's all sorts of kind of media obligations that they have to do. So the athletes are given a timetable for all of their media stuff. They have to do photo shoots. They've got to do pre-recorded videos. They have to do medicals. So there's quite a lot that goes on the first few days. Um, also, equipment testing, mm -hmm. uh, where they get to go and actually look at the kit. They're all allowed to try things out if they wish to. You'll often find the more experienced athletes tend to not bother touching anything. But um, the newer guys sometimes want to try and show off and do a bit more than maybe they should. Um, I, I tried to touch as little as possible yeah. in, in the yard. People have been injured in the yard before, haven't they? They have. <laughs> Quite but, a few people, to be But fair. sometimes you've got to there is like new kit that's worth just playing around yeah. with and figuring out the best way guys yeah. like marius and guys like um novikov as well might even sneak back later which is allowed the um you know the organizers do say if you want to kind of book in and, yeah, and come try yeah. again without everyone watching yeah. you're allowed to do that but then it's you know mainly the guys are looking at getting their food in 90 percent of the athletes will kind of be around the pool yeah <laughs> Um, the smarter ones avoid being around the pool, to be honest. Yeah, it's you, a risk it's not, of dehydrating. Yeah, you you don't want to spend all day in the sun Getting when you're burnt. competing at an event like World's Strongest Man. I, I I cope quite well in the sun, being a bit darker skinned. But over the years, I actually started to kind of avoid going out in the sun at competitions. Yeah. And what, what you've got to remember as an athlete, you're not there on holiday. You're there to do a job. So mm. It's hard when it's your first one, though. You want first to go down one, the pool and hang around with fun. everyone. And... But yeah, I mean, that all happens. And then I think this year they've got three days of heats. That's right. So it's two events a day in the heats. Then they have a rest day. The rest day they do another medical. They do more testing. They do more TV stuff. So it's not that much of a rest. No. And then the two-day final. Yeah, that's right. Hawkeye Go, thank you for the super chat. Thanks, Uncle Loz, for making me think of Luke as the Highland booty. Hello, <laughs> Al. What about Gav the Sausage? There's all sorts of filth coming from this channel. Yeah. <laughs> we claim That's to be, clearly yeah. all you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one who goes on about Luke's ass. That's, that's definitely, it's definitely you. definitely me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Well, what have Luke you done? done it Luke, again, you've done it again. It's not my fault, Lazo. I was doing a good job telling people how the day of World's Strongest Man is run. And then I've and gone then you and kind of had messed a go it up. No, I do. Not. Have you not done that you. when you was up there? Yes, I've done that. If it's blue, it means it's done. Oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. No, you don't. That's why I tell you not to touch the computer. <laughs> okay. Just enjoying our yeah. back and forth now. Yeah, oh, there we Nicola go. sent us a super chat. No, she sent us a super sticker. Oh, super but sticker. annoyingly, look, on here we can't see the sticker, but we'll see it on um, on YouTube. Yeah. We'll have to watch it back. If we've missed any super chats, we will check. We can check them afterwards and we will respond to you. Yeah, we'll so, address to them in the yeah, comments. Thank you um, very much. Ben Joyce. Ben Joyce. See, ah, look, yes. Here's Ben's um, question. Sometimes the super chat separates from the comment. Ben Joyce, you still ask questions and it's brilliant. You do. So Ben is um, a scorer for so many different promoters, isn't yeah. he, Ben? And um, so we see him up and down the country doing Thank his thing. Thank you, Ben. Ben sees what goes on behind the scenes. I am one of the most vocal people behind the scenes. You he asks questions when he's not competing. He's like, why this? What about this? And I bet they're all thinking, shut up, Loz. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny because people might sit there and say, oh, Loz avoids things. Loz doesn't kind of... I try and do things to people's face rather than behind their back. So if I have a problem with something... I go straight to the source. He really and does. I will address it. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't always work in my favor. No. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've fallen out with people a few times. Yeah, you have. But I think everyone within the sport respects me because of the way I am. And most they, people do. <laughs> most people do. Maybe yeah. not one or two. But I want the sport to be better. Yeah. I want it to be bigger. And I want you guys to enjoy it more. I want the athletes to get more from it because I've literally, been screwed over time and time again yeah and yeah. i don't want to see that for the new guys it's one of the reasons i don't compete anymore like i've had my time it's now it's time for the new guys to compete and i've said this about a few guys that are going this year and i stand by that i think we need new blood coming into the sport doing mm. better 
But once you've invited an athlete, there's no point in me going on about that anymore. You know, we've got to kind of then support the people that are there and make sure they do a good show. There we go. Patrick, thank you so much for the super chat. Where can I listen to this audio? I have no clue what's going on. Uh, Mark Boyd's Instagram. There we go. Uh, Mitchell, thank you so much for the super chat. There's probably 100 sides to this story. I think everyone should wait until everything comes out before jumping to conclusions. No one Tom and Luke, I'll stand with them all the way. But, you know, <laughs> we know that there's obviously more to it. There's never just one side of things like... And I quite agree. It, you know, it doesn't look good on Luke. And that's why I feel so bad for Luke, because it's the absolute last thing he needs going in, you know, the day before going into for him, what matters the most to him throughout the whole competitive year. So um, yeah. But thank you yeah. for the super chat. <laughs> oh, bloody how I've done it again, Lozzo. <laughs> Hold on. No, no. no, no. Yeah, blue What's means the green one above there. That means we've done it. Blue oh. is what we're on. There we go. There's a green one. Yeah, but I've already been um, there, Lazo. Sorry. That's all sorry. right, dear. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, I can't cope. Right. What have we got here? Oh, Liam, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Please say hello to my wife, Josie. Josie? Josie? Hey, Hi. Josie. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying this stream. The streams always feel so messy, don't they? Yeah. What about this one from Colorado Awesome Source? Oh, hey, Colorado. Not seeing your name for a little while. Is this the most competitive world's strongest man in history, Lozo? I still stand by 2011's world's strongest man as one of the toughest. That was a really, especially when you look at the final. When you look at the events in the final, you look at the performances from the individual athletes and you look at the names that were in there. That was a tough comp. Mm -hmm. But there's been lots of tough comps. Yeah. You know, there really has. Name some of the names in that final. You had you, Brian. Terry Zadrunas, Mike Zydrunas. Jenkins. And if if, yeah. if you guys don't know who Mike Jenkins was, that guy would have gone on to be one of the most dominant strongmen ever. Yeah, he was Vasil Verastiuk. Yeah. There was Derek Poundstone. Not Vasil Verastiuk. Oh, sorry. The Titus Lalas. Lalas. <laughs> yeah. I wish, yeah, I wish I could have competed against Verastiuk. <laughs> you I always, always yeah. call Lalas a uh, Vasil. <laughs> I know, I know. But it was, it was a great competition. Yeah, it was. But this also, like the difference now compared to previous years, and we talk about it all the time, it's the depth of talent. So while we might not have, you know, because people used to remember very much that Brian versus Adrenus being so dominant and feel like now we don't have that dominance, no. but that's because now there are so many really good guys. So it's harder, isn't it? It's, it's harder. Just to get through to the final is harder. Well, for eight years, we had the Zadrunas and Brian Shaw yeah, era. Yeah, no one else won. <laughs> Before that, we pretty much had the Marius era. Yeah. You know, um, so you had almost 13 years of... Yeah, pretty much only a few people winning that, it. Yeah, yeah, with a couple And then between. we started to get, like, you know, Thor and Eddie that were starting to kind of creep into the Zadrunas and... Um, and uh, uh brian era. era yeah yeah um and then since that we've had like an influx of incredible athletes and it's thanks to those guys that kind of paved the way mm. that inspired these yeah. new guys to come through yeah. and be better every year that the sport gets bigger it, it you know more better athletes come along and want a part mm. of it so I mean, one of the most impressive things and i still stand by this today was watching zadrunas in 2011 do a 160 kilo log for a, a 10 reps and his technique was just impeccable. His feet don't move for the whole thing, you know, and he's kind of cleaning this log 10 times. It was, it was immense. I mean, I'm co competing against him, just watching going, that's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Tim's question. Thank you for the super chat. Tim, do you plan to do a full powerlifting meet, Uncle Lars? It's so awesome to see you compete. Thank you very much, Tim. Yes, I'd like to do a full powerlifting meet. My current goal is bringing my body weight down. So currently I'm at 133 kilos. I want to get down to 130. Um, once I get there, I'm going to reevaluate, see how I'm looking, see how I'm feeling. I'm getting some medicals done very soon just to see how everything is. And then I would like to train for a full powerlifting meet and compete in the under 140 kilo class. I never want to go over 140 again. Uh, I've been as heavy as 170. Um, so now I think next year I'm going to be a master in powerlifting. So I'm going to look at maybe doing a full powerlifting meet next year. This year is about getting fitter enjoying my training and I'm doing some arm wrestling as well right now. So I should be having a super match later in the year. May look at doing a, a competition as well. There you go. 
Kieran, thank you for the super chat. Can the reserve only come in at the first event? Yes. Yeah. Once the competition starts, the That's reserve is, is no longer needed, yeah. unfortunately. So even yeah. if they get injured in the first event, the reserve doesn't come the in. The reserve anymore, only comes in if someone pulls out before the start yeah. of the first event. The last time I saw that happen was when Paul Smith competed at World's Strongest Man. People forget Paul Smith has been to World's Strongest yeah, Man. Yeah. The poor guy got kind of drafted in at the last second. He was there <laughs> just watching the first event, and then suddenly, He's gonna... I think it was Lalas that got injured. Oh, really? And Paul had to kind of suddenly get his kit on and, and get on the, the medley. <laughs> Here we go. YouTube Connolly wants to know what happens. It's just in a different place. Oh, you should We've just it. moved. Here he is. Oh. But obviously, you all know. Don't break the place. I'm not going to. This isn't a Brian video uh, picture. It's me it's, winning Europe's Strongest Man. Yeah, it's Loz before he grew the full beard. No, that's Loz with the beard. Yeah. There's only a little beard, though, but, isn't but it? I had the beard before Brian did. Yeah, it's like, well, Brian used to have the little chin thing. Little chin thing. Yeah. Chin thing. So there you go. He's still here. We still worship at it every evening. <laughs> 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 oh, I actually can't cope. <laughs> go to Maximum Iron Channel for Luke's audio. There George, thank you for the super chat. There you go. Your comments out there now. <laughs> oh. Did you see that group six that was announced? Yes, I did. It was a very interesting group. Yeah. Liz is competing at World's Strongest Man in group six. Yeah, along with Zadrunas, Terry, you, Colin, oh, yeah. and Grizzly. Yeah. So place your bets for that one. <laughs> Patrick, thank you so much for the super chat. Your mini mega series was absolutely brilliant. You must have been exhausted by the end. This is the best strongman channel by Omar. So much knowledge and insight from both of you. Thanks and have a bottle of wine on me. Oh, thank, thank you so, you so much, Patrick. So much, Patrick. We, we, we're just so glad people enjoy it. You know, we do yeah. put a lot of work into it, especially Auntie Liz. Um, I'm just face really aren't i well just your job's the, done a, once just the pretty one once the camera's off your job's done isn't it it's it is. um and yeah. that's the easy bit most I, saw, I, I saw some comments saying oh liz will probably just use some software that does it for us straight away no no she works she puts hours into this i wish there was software that would go and record like an hour's worth of b-roll so i could splice two second clips of it together to the time of the music. <laughs> that would be amazing if that exists. But Slide you enjoy what you do, don't you? I love doing it, yeah. But you did put a bit of pressure on me. I Lizzie, did. three videos a day now. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like we've got to get them out before Worlds. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He'll be the death of me. <laughs> Make Strongman great again. I totally agree with Ben. <laughs> we should get some hats. <laughs> ben Joyce, this is another man. Not many people will know who Ben is, but he does a lot behind the scenes for Strongman. He's yeah, helping he's, the sport grow. He's a good guy. And he's a good guy. Must go. Yeah. <laughs> Works with big shows, work with small shows, yeah. you know, just helping the sport. He just does it for the love of it as well. Mm. Best scorer in the business. Aaron, thank you so much for the super chat. We want transparency. You're also saying to bring things up behind closed doors. If your Mark Boyd and private convos aren't working, but that's the thing. Though. That's the thing. I've tried to organize yeah. meetings between people. And, and it didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually. It was Mark who didn't two, want to talk to them, he, wasn't yeah, it? One of them. Yeah. I've, I've managed to get Wuss and Giants Life to talk yeah. to each other. Just maybe not the guys that are bringing things up publicly unfortunately yeah. at the moment yeah and i mean oh, okay. like i mean Col colin and don have spoken to each other publicly and talked about working, not publicly uh, they privately probably, yeah <laughs> and, and you know want to work together mm. to bring things to make things better make, to make the sport better to make sure they don't clash when because the most important thing the if we want athletes to be able to be pro athletes and get bigger and better they need the freedom to compete yeah. wherever they want yeah. they but, should be and and they do I can promise you no one has ever come up to me and said, you can only compete in our shows. No, never. I've never seen that anywhere. The only time is when it was IFSA fact, and people were actually contracted. I, I immediately say to them, I'm, mm. I'm going to do work for any promotion, promotion because I want the sport to be better. And unless someone is going to pay me a huge amount of money to be exclusive, to be exclusive yeah. then I'm not going to do it. And also, just to directly address your question or your comment, um, yeah, we want transparency in terms of how groups are chosen or, you know, invitations to World's Strongest Man, all that sort of thing. We absolutely want transparency. We want professionalism. It's not about it being behind closed doors. We want promoters to talk to each other to make sure the competitions aren't clashing because this won't even be an issue if they're working on totally different dates. You know, that's where the professionalism comes in. It's not about hiding it. It's about working I, with people and communicating properly to each other. I've, I've obviously, you know, I get on well with Mark Boyd and I've spoken to him privately 
about many things. That I've, I've argued to Mark about event selection in competitions. Yeah, you know, because, <laughs> just because about weights and stuff, yeah, weights yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. We've we've ended up having arguments about. Um, but we, we, again, because I'm just I'm confrontational. I will sort things out with people behind the scenes. I don't believe in being an internet warrior and trying to be big and tough online. It's just stupid. Mm. But um, I, I I will confront things if I'm if I don't agree with them, and I do not agree with Mark posting this the night before World's Strongest Man started, mm. if he's had this since 2020. Yeah, because it's... So first really we heard of it loop. today with everyone else. Well, we've heard that there was, like everyone has, because he posted about it whenever whenever it was. I can't even remember now. It might have been last... No, it wasn't last year. What month were we in? I don't remember. It was, last it was year. It last year, yeah. But yeah, this is the first time we've actually heard this audio. So yeah, it was uh, sprung on us just as much as you guys. Yeah, and I think, you know... We've been looking forward to Worlds. We know you guys have been looking forward, forward to Worlds. The athletes have been looking forward to Worlds. And suddenly it's trying to distract from that. Mm. I think it's poor timing on, on Mark's part. I'll ring him up and say that to his face. It's nothing. You know, I get on with Mark. I, I, I've been to his gym, trained there. He's a great gym. He does a great job of promoting strongman and arm wrestling as well in the Middle East. Uh, and it's good. And I think we need that. We need World's Strongest Man maybe using Wuss as a qualifier. So we've got yeah. different regions coming into the sport. Yeah, definitely. I just think there's better ways of going about it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Rain, uh, thank you for the super chat. For me, one of the biggest things missing this year is the legend that is J.F. Karan. Given the great condition he was in before his injury, how do you think you'd have fared with this year's events? Uh, I <laughs> Gutted. Absolutely gutted that J.F. Yeah. got injured so badly yeah. at the Arnolds. J.F. is one of... Not just a great athlete, but just a, a great, great dude. person. I love you know, JF. Such a great man. He is. We absolutely love JF. And one of the best strong men consistently over the last 10 years. Mm. Um, we both did our first Worlds together, 2008. Yeah, you did. And you know what? Doing the mini mega series, um, I've watched in the last two weeks hours and hours of footage. And so much of it had JF in. And I was like, and it was like remembering every single time that yeah. JF's not going to be Just very there. quickly it's... think of the events. Deadlift. Yeah, banker. A, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the behind the neck jerk would suit him. Probably better than a max log. Yeah, definitely. Uh, stones, he's good at. I think power stairs would have been really good for him. Mm. Truck pull, he's sort of mid, mid to lower table to yeah. be fair. And the box carry into the yoke, probably mid to lower table. I think mm. four really good events. Three, no, sorry, two okay events for for JF. Yeah, there we go. Good chance of sneaking onto the podium. He's always, you know, fifth for how, top five for however many years in a row. He's a, a legitimate threat. People want you to get um, JF on a live this week. That would be good if you could. JF might be watching because he does watch the channel, but yeah, we will does. speak to JF. It would be good to have him on, definitely. There you go. Um, uncle Eggnog. <laughs> Everyone's an uncle these days. Thank you for the super chat. My tendonitis flares up doing stones. Any advice, Lazo? <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> um, just do as much recovery work as you can. Uh, tendonitis is a pain in the backside. It's, mm. I've suffered with it over the years. Um, these days, one of the things I do, especially now I'm doing a lot of arm wrestling where I get kind of tendonitis pains. Uh, I have a scraper, like a, a Graston technique, but it's just a plastic scraper that I bought online. And I use some kind of, it's like a, it's a hemp balm yeah it's, <laughs> it's like, like a, a pain, cbd really, yeah. gel isn't it yeah and i kind of just kind of put it on and then it's kind of quickly just rubbing into the skin it really helps um i've also got a complex which is really good for recovery you use that on a recovery setting definitely helps self-massage go to a physio if, if you've got tightness in your brachialis and forearm areas and bicep that needs to be addressed and often if it tightens up it's going to cause pain so just making sure you're treating it if you're in pain, back off. Don't train through pain. You know, you can do light stuff to get blood flow, but don't be trying to, you know, smash your, you know, 180, 200 kilo atlas stone if you're really in, in a lot of agony. You need to address the issue and then you can come back to it. There we go. Um, teenage Spaceland. Uh, did Liz, thank you for the super chat. Did Liz like Strongman before marrying Loz? No, I didn't. I've had it absolutely. Actually, you did because you only married me five years ago. Oh, all right, yeah, okay. <laughs> before marrying Lars, yeah, because we got married five years ago. But I met him 10 years ago, and I didn't like Strongman before that. So You didn't like any You're sport such a before smart ass. Yeah, I only like one now, so let's not get Two. carried away. Oh, yeah, I like darts as well. <laughs> 
is that you get, a you're getting though? into fighting as well yeah no i do like to watch a bit of boxing or mma yeah, yeah. it's true it's true i don't follow it as closely as you do there Bron chopped thank you for the super chat tom going to store off Pharaoh's going to smash that group. Oh, Ferris. Yeah, Kevin Ferris. Ferris. You know, there's some really good events for Kevin. Kevin's Kevin, grip Kev, and his Kevin speed. is a dangerous guy. People mm. keep saying Tom groups, mm. groups easy. Kevin's brilliant. Kevin is being massively overlooked, as is um, Ivers. Ivers Schmokstelis is a dangerous athlete. Very consistent. Not particularly amazing at anything, but no weakness. And he's won a lot of competitions, Ivers has. Yeah, keep, keep talking. You know, yeah. He's a, he's, <laughs> I, I, think, I think that group is actually harder than group five. People keep saying... I think it's group one's harder than group five, yeah. too. Yeah. I, I do. Like, if people ask me, honestly, I think group five is the easiest to predict. Yeah, I think, I think so, Evan too. and Luke should Both get through that group, group easily. Yeah. I think group one is much harder predict, to predict the top two. And I think the other three groups are all really tough, or kind of equally tough. I mean, I think Martin's a winner's group, but I think he's got to work hard. It's not going to be a, a walk in the park. Yeah. I think Brian Shaw should win his group, but again, he's going to have to work hard for it. Yeah. And there's there's no guarantee with with those four groups. I th there's no guarantee with any of them. No, the there isn't. No, like you know? we've said before. Anything but I think happen. on paper, group five does look the easiest in terms of who you would pick to get through. Mm. That's I think that's fair to say. So Jolly Roger said, will a super chat get a live reaction to my handcrafted strongman log that I finished last week? It's on Instagram. I've just got the picture up, okay? Let's have a look. So you thought I was... That's very nice. Look at that. The okay. detail. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I, like, I think I can... Hold on. Right. You're in charge of the comments. I can actually Are you put trying this. To... I can put this on the screen. She's going to get it up on the screen there for you. Go. That's what just... Auntie Liz is going to do. Yeah. I don't know how she's going to do it. Hold she's going to find a way. <laughs> But it's actually very, very nice. It's very beautiful. Handmade wooden log. There's a lot of detail into it. Yeah. How much does it weigh? Interesting okay. to know. All right, hold on. Ooh, what's... All right, I want to see that. if this works. This is exciting. <laughs> Bear with Are you going to be able to put things up on our lives? Yeah. When, yeah, when yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, where's it gone? Everything's gone. It's right. We're still here, everyone. <laughs> so we just want a... Don't if we want... end up going, blame Liz. No, delay. I'm, I'm interested to see and what then... happens now. <laughs> There we go. Ooh. And then just add it. It's not that technical, Lossie. Bless know, you. But... You're very sweet. Very flattering to me. Oh, isn't she a genius? <laughs> is this street? Just go with it. There it is. There we Yay, go. There we go. Look at that. Everyone, let us know what you think. That is a gorgeous piece of kit. It's lovely, isn't it? There we well go. Well done, Jolly Roger. You've done a great job with that, my friend. There we go. And thank you for the super chat. There you are, hopefully. And well done, Auntie Liz. Thank was, you so you know, much. Even yeah. if no one else is impressed with that, I am. We were. Oh, what, with me getting the picture yeah. up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was impressed with the log, obviously. But... Yeah, but more so with me actually yeah. figuring something out. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Uh, Mitchell Watson, thank you for the super chat. Seeing a lot of people saying um, they're finished with Tom and Luke without even letting the lads say their piece. How about let Absolutely. all the sides of the story Absolutely. come out and first before jumping ship? Yeah, I agree. Let's, let's remember from an athlete's point of view okay you are working your ass off to get noticed and get seen and then you get to a level where suddenly you are people are like talking about you like this guy's good he's winning titles he's kind of you know a, a legitimate threat as an athlete you're going to do what you can to keep progressing your yourself you know that's literally what we're all trying to do is get seen, you know, the amount of people that message me saying, how can they be noticed? How can they kind of get to World's Strongest Man? How can they do that? You've got to work your ass off to get just even noticed at first. And then when you kind of get these opportunities, whatever it is, whether, whether it's an invitation to a, a big show or anything like that, you've got to take it. Mm. You know, I never blame the athlete in this situation. And yeah, without knowing the promoters, without knowing, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, like you said, there's two sides, there's two sides to everything. Um, let's give them a chance at least we haven't heard three there's two sides that we haven't heard yeah. you know we've heard one side yeah. let's give people a chance but i i don't think fighting within the sport is good for the sport it's good for anyone um steven thank you for the super chat chat repeat why not do a liz Law strongman ranking like pj or tennis also if you come back to daytona i can hook you up with the best sushi locals and me we will take you up on the sushi, yeah, I love a bit of sushi. the reason i don't want to do a ranking is because if you did a proper ranking a proper official ranking mm. 
That would take a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much work. That's why we haven't done like, it. Can you imagine, you're like, if, if you're going to do a ranking, you need to involve every single competition. Every promoter. From every level. Yeah. And, you know, you know. You have you to need, figure out what's yeah. worth however many points. This. Um, I mean, we can do our own. Maybe what we'll do after Worlds is who we consider the top current 10. Okay. Well, oh, what? Well, that, would, that would just be my view. Irrespective of the 10. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like who I consider. I mean, I could do it probably. That seems a bit harsh, though. Imagine someone comes fifth and then we do a video and the next week going, nah, mate, you're eighth. <laughs> yeah, but then you've got you've got to kind of account for every competition. Yeah, one, okay. One, All right. I don't yeah. believe one Like a rolling ranking. Yeah. Okay. And I think if you're going to do a proper ranking, it probably needs to be based over the last two years. Yeah. Because that consistent. Well, I think you can't really go beyond two years, but a, a year or two's competition you can start putting together who are consistently and i think for me right now if you had a ranking i think lissis is the number one in the world yeah but i believe tom stoltman wins this competition mm. i think lissis beats tom stoltman more consistently in lots of competitions like at the arnold's where tom was seventh and lissis wins he, he's just that much more consistent so i i, I rate him as the number one but in strongman, events are so important. And the events here are so different to the events at the yeah. Arnold's. I, I really think, I mean, look at World Strongest Man the last two years. Tom has won six of the events in the final. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, six of the it? events. Yeah. But then he's had like stinker of events like Hercules Hogwarts scored yeah. two points. But the events this year are better than they were last year yeah. for Tom. And he's made improvements. Being a younger athlete is mm. capable of doing that. Mike Mayer, thank you for the super chat. Great content, guys. Why isn't Welsh Sugar's Man the events being live streamed? It would help the sport. I think a lot of fans would pay. And, oh, do you know, it's, this is it's, something you yeah. know more than me about. Oh, it's so tiring as well because we all want to see a live stream and um, it's something that gets asked time and time again. Obviously, new people, new fans are attracted to the sport and they're asking all the same questions. Um, there's, there's lots of different things that come into play. Um, the main one being, obviously, money, like it is in absolutely every single sport. World's Strongest Man uh, sells their content to TV, uh, for TV contracts that they've got. Those TV contracts are worth a lot of money, like a lot, a lot of money. That's the main source of income for World's Strongest Man. If you've ever been to World's Strongest Man, it's not like any other competition. There's hundreds and hundreds of people involved. It's a really expensive competition for them to run. And I think they've done the math on like a pay-per-view. That model wouldn't work. If they put the live stream out before it goes out on TV or do pay-per-view and TV, apparently the TV contracts are suddenly reduced to, uh, you know, a, a fraction of their value if it was exclusive. So, you know, I, I, and something I've said a couple of times now is maybe we should really concentrate on getting it out as soon as possible, like within a day or so, you know? Yeah. Like if they think it won't work live on TV for whatever reason because of the length of it, how quick can a team of editors get it out? Because if someone has just been putting out three videos a day, I could be on that team and I could bloody edit my yeah, ass. They, they need to pay you a good contract. You're obviously working harder than some of their people. <laughs> no, my editing isn't TV editing. <laughs> it's a uh, big loss official editing. But yeah, that is the reason why. But um you know, we're getting a bit more from them every single year. The social media side of it's better Social now media it's side, very really want to interact with the fans. Yeah. And it's good to see because we never had that in the past. Now they no. respond to people's comments. They want to put stuff out there all the time. They communicate with us. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they even talk to us. <laughs> Lars, who's your favourite world Strongest Man of all time and who do you respect the most? My favourite is... My favorite strongman, particularly when I was kind of growing up and started to get into the gym, was Magnus Samuelson. Hmm. He was my favorite as a, a youngster. Um, and I got to meet him, and he was just a pleasure to meet. So that was really nice, because sometimes it's not always nice meeting your heroes, if you like. I wouldn't say he's a hero, but I, I do have a lot of respect for him. Yeah. And used to love watching him. The athlete I respect the most is Zadrina Saviskas. I think Zadrunas is the greatest strongman of all time. And also, I love his demeanor and attitude. His nature. Yeah. Zadrunas, when you have, <laughs> I've been at strongman competitions where you have four, five, three, you know, big dogs kind of fighting it out, trying to get their point across, you know, trying to be alpha males. And Zadrunas just kind of like glides in 
and like he just becomes the alpha by just being him <laughs> he doesn't have to say anything he can just he doesn't really get involved with that sort of stuff does he i've He's never seen really i've cool. never seen zadrunas moan about events mm, ever no i've never seen him complain about any referees decisions i've never seen him whinge about anything and you know maybe that's i'm not saying it's right or wrong but I respect him so much for what he's done in the sport, for the longevity that he's had in the sport. You know, that guy has been doing strong. I've done strongman nearly 20 years. He's done it 30? Oh, 30 yeah, years, he's been doing he's it still since going, the and he's won early 90s. More titles than anyone else by a long, long way. He's competed against so many incredible athletes and eras of strongman. I'm amazed he still wants to compete now. He has nothing to prove to anyone. Uh, but for me, he has to go down as a greatest, but not just because of how good an athlete he was, because he was bloody good, but just the person that he is, just, the, you know, yeah. someone that can be that good, but yet still approachable and very mellow so, and, yeah. and not kind of having an ego. Mm. You know, there's that's very rare. You, in any sport. You look at most of the greats in our sport, none of them are like that. They've all got big egos. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of what you expect for people that yeah. have been so successful. Zadronis is a very rare specimen. Like, like I said earlier, you know, you've got Brian, Thor, and Eddie all arguing with Zadronis about um, not Zadronis with Colin about who should be or what events should be done, mm -hmm. and then Zadronis just making a joke about the color of an airplane. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yes. This event is no good because aeroplane should be yellow, not blue. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cheeky bastard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rich, thank you for the super chat. You and Matt Rhodes' weekly show on ESPN when? If, ES if ESPN want to pay us some good money. We couldn't do it, Lozzy. The amount of time he's done live commentary on ESPN and they they censor me all the time. They said the, the amount of things he says that he's not supposed to say, and he doesn't think about it because he's used to talking on our channel where we can say whatever the hell we want. <laughs> but you've been told off for all sorts, haven't you? I have. Called in Trey Ed Country Bumpkin. <laughs> Trey thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it could have been worse. I mean, some of them you're good friends with, and imagine what you might have called them or oh, said about them. And ESPN would be like <laughs> You can't say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The problem is we half of what we say or do would be cut. <laughs> so yeah. I'm not sure that it would work. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool to have like a, a weekly strongman show on there. Yeah, you used to have a weekly strongman show. Yeah. <laughs> Very small oh, scale. Yeah. <laughs> Jose, thank you for the super chat. I've back pain recently. What would you recommend for recovery? I would go and see a chiropractor. Um, might sound like a bit of a cop out, but you want to talk to a professional. Um, anytime I have issue with my back, it's been straight to a chiropractor. They are the best people to help you address the issue without, you know, I'm not a, a medical practitioner, so I would be, it would be wrong of me to give any advice just without knowing any of the details. Uh, but go and find, go and speak to someone that knows what they're talking about first. Try and find someone that actually deals with athletes. That's a big advantage. It took me a while to find good physios and chiropractors that actually work with with sportsmen that makes a big difference um but they're not going to stop you training the idea is they want to get you fit and healthy as quick as possible and then once you know what's wrong then you can put a plan together of, of how to fix it uh jonathan thank you for the super chat just a thanks for the mini series it was great to learn about some of the newer athletes thank you jonathan you uh, do you think world strongest man will always be a tv show or maybe move towards streaming or at least live tv in the future I think eventually things will move. I think so I've too. seen Definitely. improvements over the yeah. last few years. Mm. And I think just the nature of how people watch TV now, it's changed so I much. think it has to change yeah. eventually because no one sits at home watching TV like they used to. No. You know, TV is very different now. And I think for the evolution of the sport, yeah. just the way things are, the way we consume content, it, it has now. to change eventually. So mm. I, I do think things will keep improving year on year. Yeah. Uh... Paris, thank you for the super chat. How's Ben Patrick's ATG program going? It was going really well. Is that and the then, yeah. over the knees guy? Yeah, knees over toes. Oh, that's it. Um, <laughs> it was going well until I had to do a load of traveling and mm. sitting in uncomfortable airplane seats and taxis and Ubers and stuff like that. My knees started to play up a bit. Yeah. Um, they're not as good as I'd like right now, but I am, you know, I've got a bit of a, a patch at home now where I'm just trying to do as much as I can. Uh, I think it's always going to be difficult. I don't think I'm ever going to be completely pain-free, mm. but I'm doing everything I can. 
Um, and I just listen to my body on a daily basis. So if I feel good, I'll squat. If I get to a gym and my feet, knees are feeling rough, then I might focus more on machine work and stuff like that. But I'm doing the, the backwards walking every day. I do a number of his exercises to try and help keep improving. And, and I, will, I will keep doing it. Um, Tim Odell, thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much for covering Irish athletes like Para Dwyer and Matt McKeegan. The sport is starting to get bigger here in Ireland. Yeah, you've got some great athletes over in Ireland. I train Matt as well, so yeah. I'm always going to do stuff for Matt. He's we a... like little Matt, don't we? Little Matt. Little Matt. <laughs> I hope he didn't hear you say that. He's, <laughs> He's stressing me out at the moment. He keeps saying he wants to do more and more competition. I'm like, Matt, we need to focus on the big ones. Oh, yeah. He's... My mind's completely warped, though. What did I say yesterday? Oh, Pablo Cordiac is not that yeah. big, though, is we were he? Like, He's I was like, like, Pablo's like, He's six foot four. <laughs> and I was like, was he? I said he's at least five inches taller than me. <gasps> Is he? <laughs> uh, the, the strong movement. I've got a feeling that's Mark. Yeah. But I can't see the comment. Mark, Is, I'm going to look for your comment. comment. Hold on. What was that? No. No, that's not it. It should still say. A super chat from Strong, the strong movement. We appreciate the support. We always <laughs> do. Hold on. All right, it's not in that section, but I'll keep looking. In the meantime, Omar, I just watched Brian's video and he seems way more relaxed and tuned in, tuned this, in year. this year. Quite dangerous. Thank you for the super chat, Omar. I've not seen Brian's video, but that's great to hear that he's focused. Ah, there you go. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. Here's the real tea. Right. <laughs> Hot off the press. The strong movement. Um, thank you for the super chat. Loz and Liz, you guys do a great job. Just to make you all aware, athletes were asked to come to light about it in September. Three IMG directors were made aware. It was kept away from fight promotion. And by the way, at no point as have I refused to chat with Giants Live. Lozzy? We, we need to make this chat happen then. That's as, as simple as that. I know Colin Bryce is more than happy to chat. Yeah. So I think if we can get the, you know, these guys in a room working together mm. because I feel I feel it's damaging on both I, sides. Yeah, I feel I've what always, went out today, yeah. The person that hurts the most is one individual athlete. Yeah. That's the issue with what's gone on today. One athlete is basically been screwed over. You know, potentially could lose sponsors, mm. could, you know, his, his competition this weekend is going to be highly affected. I think timing wise it was very, very unfair on one person who had a private conversation. Yeah. I think that's the, the the main issue there. I totally agree that things need to improve, you know, with promoters working together, with transparency, transparency to make the sport bigger and better going forward. So hopefully that can come from this. I was going to say, if nothing else, hopefully this is the catalyst for but that I, going forward. In terms of timing, I think – you've really screwed an individual person up, which I know Luke personally, I know Mark personally, you know, I know a lot of people involved. And I think that's unfair. I think you know, we all, we all have private conversations with people and to publicly put that up somewhere, particularly the timing wise, I think that's rough. I really do. Mm. And, you know, I've already had one athlete text me and say, God, remind me never to talk yeah. to Mark Actually, again. Actually, I've had a number of athletes message me tonight. And that's the danger with absolutely this. absolutely horrified by what's going to have yeah. gone on, which is, yeah. is sad because athletes shouldn't be scared to speak up, as you guys know. Or to have private conversations I, with people I if talk they're worried about it trying, getting out. You know, it's, I want the sport to be better. That's yeah. what I want. But I don't want to see people getting thrown so, under a yeah. bus to get there. I think we all want the same thing. I think we just need to I know, work better I know, together. I know Mark to wants the sport to be better, and I think he does great things, especially in the, the UAE. I think, the, the, you know, some of the Iranian athletes that I've seen coming through. The He's given opportunities from, Dubai, from that, yeah. You know, Bahrain. Yeah. There's, there's really great stuff that's happening. Mm. We just need to all be working together to, to keep the sport growing and going forwards. Thank you very much for the super chat. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Antonio, thank you for the super chat. Most champions of World Strongest Man have all been around uh, consistent, well-rounded guys. Any champions do you know that had a weak event? There are some champions, like Ted van der Paar is always one that sticks out to me as Ted um, van der Paar. not the most likely World Strongest Man winner. A lot of athletes have had weak events, so I can list off a few. I mean, Vasil yeah. Vrastiak, weak deadlifter. Mm -hmm. uh, Magnus Samuelsson, weak deadlifter and weak squatter. Um, Ted van der Paar, weak 
deadlifter and squatter, yeah. but very good at awkward events. Yeah, good very strongman similar, events. Yeah, you know, very yeah. similar to like a Kelvin de Reuter. Mm. Kelvin, if he competed in that world's strongest man, could well have been the world's strongest man. Yeah. You know, it's it comes down to events a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, athletes, and, and sometimes an athlete has a weak event, like someone like Thor, he had a few weaknesses to start off oh, with. Oh, to start with. His he grip was, was actually really weak to yeah, start with. By the time he ends up kind of at the end, he's winning grip events. He's, yeah. you know, uh, Eddie Hall. Eddie mm. Hall was rubbish at moving events at one point, and he really progressed. There was like a transition. It was 2014 just... because they did like um, Giants Live did Britain's Strongest Man. There's the first competition, I think it was of 2014. And Eddie at that point had done nothing. And it was all quite like there was a duck walk in there, there was a Conan's wheel, and we we're thinking, oh God, it's really fitnessy. And no one was thinking about Eddie because he hadn't done anything. And then he came, and I've never seen a big bloke move. So I was like, is that actually a yeah, dude? He, he'd like, been away working people, hard and progressing. Yeah, people change and yeah, you know, you, you, they get better. Yeah, but no, great question. Yeah. Dustin, thank you for the super chat. How can you talk about Brian retiring when he was first and second at the Shaw Classic 2020-2021 and was second at World's Strongest Man last year? That's a solid recent record. Yeah, it is a solid yeah. recent record. Yeah, it's not about his recent record is why we're talking about retiring. It's more the fact that he's been in the sport for such a long time and at some point he's probably thinking, I want to retire one yeah, day. Yeah, he, he probably thinks it himself. Yeah, you know, it's you think how, your body Let's think how busy Brian is. Mm. He's got a number of businesses. He's got a young family. And your body doesn't cope with strongman and recovery the way it did when you're younger. So I'm sure he thinks about retiring and how he wants to go out. So... I'm sure if he won World's Strongest Man, he'd be thinking, is this the perfect time to go? Do I want to keep coming back for more? But he's the only person that can answer that. You know, it's not for us to say Brian should retire. It's up to him at the end of the day. And he's more, I've said this many times, Brian is still more than good enough to challenge in competitions and win titles. So, you know, that's never been an issue. Yeah. Jolly Roger. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. That's for sharing the log. There you go, everyone. If <laughs> you go welcome. over to Jolly Roger's uh, log. Instagram, yeah, or just rewind yeah, the video. All the nice comments about the log, log as well. Ah, yeah, everyone. And that just goes to show how far behind we are on the comments. So let's try and catch up a little bit because it's already... Yeah, we'll stay on for another 15, 20 minutes. An hour and 46 yeah. minutes into the stream. It's way past my bedtime. <laughs> Your bedtime is going to be three or four o'clock in the morning over the next few exactly. days. Exactly. This was the only day I didn't have to stay up late. <laughs> Bron chopped. Uh, feel far more bad for the other athletes. They must feel cheated. Feels wrong on so many levels. They might feel cheated. They might say, actually. I, I've had athletes that competed against Luke many times messaging me saying what happened tonight was just wrong. So I don't think the athletes are too disappointed. Mm, I, in I, in I, Luke. I, yeah. I, I think, like I said, there's more than one side to stories um and i i do feel for for luke and and the athletes all of the athletes because it's normally the athletes the ones that get screwed over at the end of the day and as i come from that's where i came from yeah being, i've done competitions i'm not going to say which I was invited to a, a big international one of my first shows and i won it i won the international won the competition <laughs> and then the organizers told me, oh, sorry, the sponsors pulled out. There's no prize money. That was a kick in the dick. <laughs> um, and weirdly, I went back to another competition because mm -hmm. literally all I cared about was you being a good strong man. I loved strong man. Yeah. You know, it wasn't about trying to be a pro athlete at that you time. You still love it, I, don't And you? I still love it now. Yeah. You know, when I competed at the Royal Albert Hall, I think I got six, $800. Yeah. It's never about the money. No. no. I just love what I, what I do. Mm. Jiminy Crickets, thank you for the super chat. Lost and Liz's power ranking for 2023 in December of this year. <laughs> what's, he, what's he even on about now? Well, we've got to do a ranking for this for, year's World's Strongest. Well, no, we've got to do next year's power ranking in December of this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll look into that. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we just got to get through May. Is uh, get, uh, Honestly, we've got to get through this live stream. Is <laughs> oh, yes. And the super chats and everything keep coming, and I, I don't want to ignore them. Omar, like we there's said, your thing, but where's your comment? Any people we don't respond to, we will oh. privately message you. Okay. Omar, do you think sometimes Brian gets flustered during events? Also, if his recent video seems more relaxed, do you think that could be a game changer this year? Do you think he gets flustered? I don't think he really I don't, gets I don't think he's flustered. I think he's just very methodical. Yeah, maybe sometimes to his detriment because yeah. the other guys have just gone for it. Let's and... remember, 
Brian Shaw is 40 years old. He is a four-time world's strongest man. How many of us would love to say that? Mm. You know, he's one of the greatest to ever do the sport. I don't think he gets flustered. I just no, think, I don't think he gets flustered. You know, he's um, I, I, he, he's a great strongman. It's as yes. simple as that. There's nothing more you can really say. I, I think if I kind of look at who I think will win this year, I think Brian's probably a third to fourth place athlete. Mm. That means he could win. You know, he's good enough to. But my opinion, I think Tom and Lysis are top two. Yeah, agree. Uh, Jace, thank you so much for becoming a member. I, um, I'm i totally aware I'm scrolling past nearly every comment and just jumping through the Super Chats. This is a particularly busy live stream tonight and uh, I wasn't prepared for it. We so thought we'd have a, apologies. A, a we thought it would be a bit one. more of a chill one tonight. Yeah, but, um, but we do appreciate it, guys. Yeah, Absolutely. We do. And we hope with everything going on, still, you guys are still excited for what's coming this week because we, we've put so much work into building up to Worlds this year. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to see a downer on it. I want to see a big event. And then I'd love yeah. to see move on to the next big events, you know. Let's make Strongman bigger and bigger and bigger and, and keep building it up. The next big event being us in Estonia. There we go. <laughs> Gabriel, thank you so much for the super chat. Z also improved the sport in Eastern Europe. Yeah. Absolutely. He's like one of the most famous people in yeah. Lithuania, isn't He's he? He's amazing. Yeah. Whenever, um, like when I used to work for Tesco, I worked in audit, so I traveled around a lot and I'd meet lots of Eastern Europeans in London and, um, you know, they'd say, oh, I'm from Lithuania. And I'd be like, oh, do you know Sotronis? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. Like, they didn't know him personally. They, everyone knew who he was, yeah. though. I get it from a lot of Polish people. Like, yeah. Oh, do you know Maris, Maris Podrowski? Podrowski. Yeah, 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 Maris. Yeah. Oh, incredible. <laughs> M, Penny's Tours, Liz's Spa Fund. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much, Thank you, M. M. It will be lovely for the cucumbers on my eyes and, <laughs> <laughs> and the locker <laughs> when I go in the pool. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't been to a spa in such a long time now. So you're going to deserve it. It was when I was pregnant. Mm. She's four. <laughs> Alan, thank you for the super chat. Love the channel. Thanks for the content. Do you know the times for the event? Do you know the times? Oh, do you know? I've got them, but I don't have them right now. What I'll do is I'll do a community post with the times because we're going to have to obviously work out um, when we're coming on based on those times as well. So I will figure it all out. Keep an eye on the community page on our YouTube. And if you follow either of us on Instagram, we'll post it in the stories as well there. So... There we go. Connor, thank you for the super chat. Loved your insight on Big Z, especially the plane story. Do you have any more behind the scenes, funny, interesting moments? Big fan, by the way. Thank you very much, Connor. There's probably low. I'll have to do a video on funny you stories. You should write a book. <laughs> yeah, I might have to. But um, I will have a good think about yeah. some funny stories. Obviously, tonight there's there's a lot going on that sort of distracted the, yeah. old, the old brain, but <laughs> I, I will have a good think about some of the funny stories because there is, there's, there's lots. There's loads, yeah. I've had, I've had some Definitely. good times in Strongman for sure. Yeah. Uh, Lung Thank you, Strongman. Alex. We ah. love you, buddy. I'll see you on Saturday. One of our favourite nephews. There we go. All right, we're getting there now, are we? <laughs> Jace, a two-dollar bribe for Liz <laughs> to be nice to her enemy, enemy bride. <laughs> <laughs> You think that's enough? <laughs> Just punch the picture. <laughs> that's me. I know. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. I'll be nice to Brian. <laughs> it's like a dirty rumor. The problem is, I can guarantee you, Brian doesn't watch our channel, and he's going to hear at some point, like a joke about it, yeah. and he'll he's think I actually it. don't like him. I know. Him. Oh, I know. And he'd be like, uh, <laughs> he'll be so confused. So we've got a. Uh... Andrew, look, is that his? Andrew? Oh, I, I try. Sometimes the comments detach yeah. from the um, super chat. It's very annoying. There he is. Is that him? Yeah, Luke is a real gen. There we go. Yeah, Luke's always treated us, you know, brilliantly. Yeah. He's just always been a sweet. He's always taken my criticism as well. I'm always kind of. I'm never saying Luke's going to win anything. No, um, never. He's like, Lars, why do you never say I'm going to do well in a comp? Because <laughs> I don't think you will. <laughs> Opinion on this. Thank you, Jay. Eddie Hall is the most overrated strongman by non-strongman fans, but underrated by strongman fans. That's actually maybe quite a fair assessment. I think um, I think the non-strongman fans who were Eddie fans kind of ruined Eddie for the actual strongman fans. I agree. <laughs> because Ed, they Ed, were Eddie, so weird. Eddie is, <laughs> Eddie is a great strongman. Yeah, he was great at lots of things but as well. 
not as great as maybe some people kind of as the non-strongman yeah. fans they thought he was the goat greatest of all time we know that wasn't the case he might have been statically one of the strongest of all time absolutely yeah. and no one can argue that no but in terms of strength athlete yeah there was there's there's a number of guys that you'd have to put above him. Yeah, but I think you make a but really certainly, good point, Jay. Certainly, yeah. Eddie was a great strongman, and mm. that shouldn't be a you know no. not just a great strongman. One of the things that I admire about Eddie was his sheer determination. Yeah, you know that guy's. Uh, I see so many people come to me and say they want to be the world's strongest man. I'm like, I look at them I'm like, you don't, you don't. And I think I, I'll say that to most of you out there. You don't want to be the world's strongest man. You might say it, but you don't. <laughs> Eddie meant it. And he was willing to do yeah. whatever the hell it took to yeah. do it. I can tell you how hard it is to be at the top of strongman. I called one of my clients lazy today. <laughs> he wants to be Sounds a great strongman. Right. And he was just being lazy. Yeah. His technique was great. He was just being lazy. And he was like, yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> but sometimes <laughs> tough, you need to hear it. Tough level. Because laws. being the absolute best, these, guys, these 30 guys at Worlds, they're all awesome. The guys that get into the final are phenomenal. The guys that get onto the top five and top ten, top like podium positions, yeah. they have dedicated their lives mm. to this. And then the guys who consistently do it, like your Thor's, Brian's, and uh, Zadrunas's, are just out of this world. Yeah, like very, but very. It, special. You don't get to that level. I mean, firstly, you do need great genetics, mm. so that should never be like too many people think it's all about drugs and other things. Yeah. You can't inject talent. Can no. You? These guys <laughs> at the top are genetic freaks. Yeah. But on top of being genetic freaks, they are some of the most hardworking, determined people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. I was one of them. I know how hard it is to be at the best. And when people now say, oh, why don't you compete? I don't have the drive anymore. No. And I could still beat loads of people. Mm -hmm. Loads of people. I'm still good enough to beat, you know, lots of people that, that do strongman. But I'm not good enough to compete at the top level of the sport anymore. Fair. Adam, thank you for the super chat. I don't care about the Luke audio. It doesn't matter what group you're in because you still have to go out and move weight, go team spicy. I think more than anything, we hope that the guys can just forget all about it for tomorrow, go out there and just put do in that. A yeah, yeah. We don't want to see any injuries. But I want to see, I just can't wait to see the results start coming through, to be honest. I get I get so excited. What events have we got tomorrow? We've got the loading and the log. Uh, or is the deadlift? It's the deadlift ladder is the second event. Cool. Yes. I'm yes. looking forward Those to that. Those are two one. really good events, yeah. Definitely looking forward to the deadlift. Found one of Liz's hairs on me. Luckily, oh, it's what mine. a surprise! Dustin, how do I get on the spreadsheets? World Strongest Man are doing um, updates we of will, the actual. We will results put a link into the World Strongest Man as page. As we have it, <laughs> which um, will have the the updates. Yeah, there might also be spreadsheets as well, but by the sounds of it, they're not going to be needed. But you know, Strongman you Archive is a place to look at, yeah. and the World Strongest Man website. Yeah, they're the, and obviously Big Loss Official. There you go. You can still F5, though, if it makes you feel more at home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or, or Command R, in my case. You do five, five, ten more minutes? Yeah, I just want to quickly get rid of Super Chats. Not get rid of them, but address, address them. Address them. Yeah. Like I said, though, if we do I miss any, bad. we will yeah. check. Yeah. Uh, Brian, thank you for the Super Chat. Just received my autographed Big Loz photo. Uh, World Sugar's fan, Uncle Loz and Auntie Liz all live uh, live all in one week. Sorry. Thank you, Brian. And if anyone else wants a signed photo, a mug, a t-shirt, head over to lawrencechatelet.co.uk. Well, so he's, he's looking at me because he's checking. Yeah. He's like, is that right? Is that yeah. right? I always get told by people that I have to remind people to do things. Yeah. And I always feel bad for, 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 oh, for yeah. asking people to do things. Yeah. But, you know, if you consider... If you like what we do, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There you go. The subscribers make a big difference as well, don't they? The sponsors yeah, they look do. at them and they're like, oh, we'll, mm. we'll help that channel. Yeah. So the more subscribers we can get, the better. Yeah. And this is the best week to do it. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Uh, Marina, speaking of daughter, she looks like a mini Liz clone. She's adorable and I love your family vlogs. Thank uh, you thank very you. much. She is adorable and she is just like... For those who haven't seen any of the videos, she's four years old and she's exactly what we knew our daughter would be like, isn't she? Yeah. She's really opinionated. She's very funny. She's very funny. She's very strong-willed. Very headstrong. Yeah. She can do everything on her own. She doesn't need our help. She doesn't need anything got, from anyone. She's got a 13-year-old brother and sister. and That she wants to compete yeah, against. She just and... wants to be doing what they do all yeah. the time. Yeah. She's like... Oh God, Work, to be honest but she's the sort of child as she gets older she's going to be like you're not going to have to worry about yeah. a girl like her because she's um she's got her head screwed on hasn't she Woo. <laughs> 
VA Hoss. Thank you for the super We're chat. so glad you could join us for the live. Ah, We're doing lives cool. every night this week. Yes. During World's Strongest Man. We Around about this time. So you reactions, are going to lead ups, everything. Yeah, we just can't wait. We just love Strongman so much. And, you know, I know a lot of people don't like World's Strongest Man because there's no live stream or, you know, they feel that the format's um, outdated. But this is the competition still that the athletes care the most about. This is the one that matters to them in terms of the title, getting the sponsorships, getting that recognition. They are recognized on the street because of World's Strongest Man. Make no doubt about it, Absolutely. you know. And, um, and we feel that buzz and energy with them, don't we? And we, we just... Uh... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh just made everything go away now. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was are you, the... Are you caught up? I think you are. Oh, no. Oh, no. One snuck in. <laughs> Ethan, thank you for the super chat, Ethan. Loz, if Manuel makes the final, you shave your beard. I think that's uh, fair. That's fine. If mm. Manuel makes the beard, I yeah. will, uh, makes the beard, makes the final, I will shave my beard. You heard it here first. Yeah. Okay, we are going to go, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been nearly two hours. My goodness, how time flies. Oh, yeah. I'm amazed you guys have stayed with us for that long. <laughs> yeah. so thank you very, very much. We'll be back tomorrow. Yes, we will be back tomorrow. We will put timings up in our community posts once we know them. And obviously links so you guys can be following the results as well as soon as we have that. Have a great evening, guys, and we'll speak to you tomorrow.